Yo. 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 Back to sender. Okay. Yeah, back to sender, man. We back. We back again. Hey, Chrissy. Hi. You're right over there. Yeah, how are you? Fantabulous. Good. Yeah. How are you, Vans? I'm good, man. Yeah? Yeah, what are you saying? I mean, it's good to see everybody, you know. Oh, yeah, man. It's always good to see you. Bro, we're, we're a couple episodes away from 400. It's, what? I was like, right. Oh, oh, damn. Yeah. Vets. I said, yeah. man, it's my favourite day of the week. Love Aww. that for you. Yeah. Chrissy? <laughs> yeah. Nah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. It's better hate over there. No, 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 I love it here. <laughs> no? I guess it's a uh, start up pod, as she says. Oh, this, is that the start of pod? Yeah. That's the, the main character? Nah, she would be like, intro start your pod. pod. Yeah, intro yeah, yeah. your pod. Or <laughs> lock off your pod. As soon as it's time to go to this our pod. <laughs> yeah. But let, let us let us sideline her. Like, mm. when she wasn't here on holiday. And we looked too happy in the photo and the video. Way too and happy. And I was smiling from ear to ear, boy. <laughs> smiling like the cat that got the cream. Yeah. <laughs> I mean. And then look how that turned out. Ugh. Or the, <laughs> the week when Vans lost the audio. <laughs> and hey. we had to re-record. Hey, man. But that was a really good episode when we recorded. Yeah, it was great. We managed it. Yeah, yeah. yeah as we always do. One could say it was the bad vibe he was given that you know brought, made that him lose the thing in it. Mm. Mm. One, one could say one. Yeah, that's you one. Some one. could say. Yeah. Also, okay, some. Man, okay, man, so added two extra. Of you. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> intro your pod. Oh, oh yeah. intro your pod. <laughs> Hashtag off the cuff pod. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Hashtag off the cuff pod. Come on. We are back. A good honest conversation never hurt anyone. Yes. So listen for the first week. My name is False Forever. I'm Mr. Vance. Shout out to the Chrissy Hive. Chrissy Hive. Hi. Shout out to the Hating Hive. Sorry, sorry. Just kidding, kidding. He's going to ad lib. He's going to ad lib. Go on, go on. Some more, some more, man. Some more, man. More, See more, more, late, more, more, more. It's fast. It's the, fast. The, the flow went. <laughs> See, you can't do me bad. Uh, to be fair now, I can't commit to it still. I dip my toe in it and the water in it. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Small, small hate, but it's, it's all love, really, isn't it? Toe height for most. What's that? That's a toe height for most. And quiet for you, but all right. You are over there, bitch. <laughs> so, that was so funny. <laughs> no, that was, I don't guess her up. No, that came straight off the door. That was really funny. She prepares them. Just don't let her lie to you, just, man. Just, just accept she, it. She, she doesn't riff, man. Don't let her lie to just you, man. Just accept it. Accept what? That I'm just like, wow, with the words. Wow, with the words. Yeah. She's her, as they say. Oh? You're mm. her. She's her. Okay. I'm yeah. liking this. Oh, because you got some yeah. female camaraderie yeah. Yeah. with you this week. Do you want to introduce yourself to the people? No, I want to get introduced. Yeah, well, okay. like I usually do. Um, <laughs> what the hell? You know what? How do we start this? Um, my twin. Yes. Aww. My mother's favorite. Before, <laughs> <laughs> hey. before my niece came along. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But former but, baby. But yeah, the former baby in the house. But when when Reese is around, she's uh, you know the second baby in the house. Um, any accomplishments in there? No, nothing I've done. All right, so <laughs> we're we're, we're, we're going to get to that, innit? That's great. Yeah. You're, you're bro, also, you should also, be rolling off the hey, tongue. Yeah, everyone chill out. Please. I can't lie. Thank you, big bro. Here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> this is also Rishi's favourite. Shout out to Rishi, her favourite as well. Oh, mm. definitely, yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, I, I was getting there. Uh, one of the best radio presenters in the country. Yes. Wow. If not the whole wide world. Mm. Oh, close. You know, um, my ginger biscuit. Yeah. The number one ginger in the world. Yes. Mm. The original ginger. Yes. yes. You invented ginger. Mm. What? Um, hmm. Very intelligent. Yeah. Yes. I'll give you that as well. Um, almost taller than me. You're getting there. Yeah. Almost. But obviously. No, I am tall. I'm like 5'10". Allegedly. So taller than falls. Yeah. Cool. Just remember. <laughs> I will still be here <laughs> <laughs> next week. <laughs> Let's not get too crazy. But we're joined by my baby sis, mm. aka Young Bis. Yes. AKA My G. Come on. Are you satisfied with your intro? No, that was really good. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Thank you very and much. And I too did not prepare that. That was just all off the dome, man. Off the cuff. Yeah. <laughs> Some would say. By, name, by nature. I mean. That was too easy, though, didn't it? Yeah. yeah. That was a good one, though. I like You're better that. than that. Yeah. I mean. That hate needs to evaporate don't do, immediately. No, d- don't do that. Don't let the hate clog up the arteries. It's not good, you know? <laughs> hate in hive? <laughs> no. Hate in hive? No. If, we get no. that, if we get that as a, as a no. movement, you yes, know? Yes, yeah. No, you will not bring me down. No, no, no. Do you know what the funniest moment is on this pod, yeah? Go on. <laughs> you guys called... <laughs> Sorry. Go on. You called you Jeanette? <laughs> Sorry. I think about that all the time because why would they even say that? <laughs> why would that isn't it, isn't it, isn't it it's like elite... <laughs> comedic irony I know, that you yeah. mentioned that and what is she wearing right now Jeez. on her lower half 
No, but come on. Bear in mind this, we're, we're in no. the middle of a heat wave right now, yeah? It has been hot. Yeah, but it's and not she's hot wearing, today. She's wearing but jeans. it's not hot today. Okay, I've got a genuine question, yeah? <laughs> yeah, no, this is a genuine question. Oh my God. Okay. When you're like, gonna run somewhere is it actually no is it because you you mentioned it before but is it actually like you put on jeans yeah do you wear jeans that require belts and stuff (laughs) what that's crazy do you know what's so crazy i put a belt on today and i took it off because i was like it's really giving power ranger oh Mm. (laughs) i had to remove it because that's not a quick outfit that's like a that's a piece you're wearing a piece you got to struggle to like get it on no, but I wouldn't wear like a skinny jean. <laughs> this sounds insane. I wouldn't wear a skinny jean to the shop. What are you, are you saying? A, a boyfriend jeans? Jean. <laughs> <laughs> like a jacket <laughs> jean. That loose fit. That's yeah. Awesome. She's wearing those Joa jeans. Joa. <laughs> <laughs> Joa. No, no, no. But I've like, um, I've got way more leggings. Um, I still haven't found a pair of combat trousers that like I've fallen in love with, but that's my next step. Bershka have really good cargoes. Yeah, they don't really size money, Ash. No, no. They've got the adjustable waist ones. So, like, you can buy them a couple sides up and you can just pull the sides. Mike Biss, I mean. Oh, yeah. sorry, but sorry, Alec Abino. Yeah, you can, like, adjust the sides of them. But the thing um, is, is that, like, why don't you have tracksuit bottoms just to run to the corner shop? I told you, see, there we go. She went to the suburbs and just changed on us, no, bro. No, don't do that. <laughs> Start wearing jeans no, and have the I actually have tracksuits. So, I'll, like... You don't sound convinced. No, all. I do. But to, uh, like, tore up the lecky, you'll put on your jeans. <laughs> <laughs> But that, <laughs> in terms of adulting, yeah, like Fam. the effort that takes, yeah. yeah that's, that's and you're, oh and you're, you know what the killer is? Remember the era of, um, remember when like Dipset were raining and they like they changed fashion and stuff, yeah. and it was rock star drip. Yeah, remember yeah the, best you know, skull, skull remember the, chains. Remember the big Jim the Jones belt, the rhinestone <laughs> belt. Yeah, she had the Jim Jones belt on. It wasn't oh, even that shiny. It was. But, no, it wasn't, <laughs> that shiny. it wasn't even that shiny. I had it was like, giving. It was giving Renaissance. That's what the belt <laughs> was saying. <laughs> what? Uh, he's calling you Renee. That's yeah, insane. You know? Renee. That's insane. Actually, you're actually okay. I'll, I'm going to let that one slide because it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I wear like shorts. Yeah, I have shorts as well. So it's not like I like. He's Can we just like, move on? Just kidding. Like, we just dissect your whole wardrobe. <laughs> right. Anytime, like I see like a viral, there's like a, anytime there's like a viral photo or video of someone in like. Like a garish jean or somewhere <laughs> like triple denim, like a denim hat, denim gloves. Denim it would just, we send it to Chrissy. Listen, like what did it for me is when I saw Chrissy on a flight with jeans. I was like, you're oh really lost. Flight with jeans. No, wait, you're really lost in the jean vest. Long haul flight with jeans. No. That's, why she was on a flight, she was on a flight to New Zealand wearing jeans. <laughs> you're, at, you're too dumb. You're too dumb. But what, like, as a flight attendant, if I saw someone wearing jeans, I'd be a bit like, whoa, like check their bag because they what? Were, <laughs> Why don't you like comfort? No. It's giving they, Karen. They were baggy, first of all. But also, mm. I was only going away for a few days. So I had hand luggage only. Okay. And you had to take jeans. No, but I, that's what I wore to the airport. And it was also cold in London. Somehow this is, everyone this else. This is we talk about jogging bottoms. Like, why is that a long rotation? <laughs> Crazy. Oh, bless you. But Sorry. I, just, I had to get that my jeans. All, all really that HR money. You know, loungewear. <laughs> <laughs> But do you know what? I'm going to surprise you guys one day. Yeah. And show up in like. Something new. Yeah. Something new. She doesn't even bro? know what anything yeah, is. Yeah, I was going to surprise you. What like, it is for you to say soul. what it is. It's going to come from the soul. She's doing little dance moves like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, what are you doing? I'm But yeah, I'll surprise you. Don't worry. Wait me. I'm trying to think of. There we go. Blue Cantrell. Just more, just more jeans. <laughs> when I was scheming. Scheming. <laughs> What's next? Where? What's next? Where to vibe, man? I want to update those vans, isn't it? Because last week I clocked. It was sports day week. We spoke last week when we recorded. He's like, yeah, you know, you're preparing. You're, well, you're ready, basically. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Yeah. I want to update. How did sports day go last week? Did you smoke the opposition? I didn't see no posts, innit? I didn't you see did. you. You did. And I explained it on my story. Can you explain for the listeners that don't follow you? That please? <laughs> Can you let me fake pod for oh, a second? Oh, no. What? Oh, no. <laughs> it's falling apart. I was ready. I okay. showed up ready. Looked around and I was like, piece of cake. But lo and behold, lo and behold, they saw us too athletic for the opposition. And they said, "You know what? You're gonna have to sit this one out." What did they do? What a fitness test? What medical before the sports so, day? So, so what's the the real story? Because that that didn't happen. Okay, so the real story is that they decided <laughs> that um, parents won't be taking part this year. Okay. Oh. Any explanation or? 
I know you're, 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 like, you're like your question limit soon. I they, <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> <laughs> they said um, that it would just take take up too much time with how they planned it. And I was like, well, maybe you should make it earlier. But they have to cater to not just the year twos, the year threes, fours, oh, okay, fives, sixes. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Throughout that one day. And then if you let one... So we had the afternoon slot. <clears throat> okay, okay. okay. Um, right up until it's home time So You've got to get through the year groups And if you have one <laughs> One section where the adults can do it You've got to let them all do it Okay, okay. Yeah. It sounds plausible It's yeah. believable yeah. Yeah. You've got it over the line in the end so. we'll But manifesto. People need to know that I was ready Bro next year's day You know I'm gonna, I'm gonna, We're going to get back to this Like yeah, we need to no, know no, that Absolutely you're... Like, Do you know what I mean But <laughs> I was like I was being that Over competitive dad On the sidelines yeah. how, how did you do? Her team came third they did it in teams. <laughs> that participation thing. Yeah. No, but it's still like so there, was, there was one girl that was carrying her team on her back. Yeah. I was oh. like, you know what? <laughs> yeah. And her parents weren't her. even there. Where did that? Oh. Yeah. I'm shaming them once. Did you at least get footage for the for for, for the kid? Yeah, I did. I did. I did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. I did. Um, Hold them down yeah. once they're not there, innit? Yeah. Naturally, like, you know, obviously... They're they're within the same class, so yeah. they were competing against each other. So okay. you're seeing what they're doing, and they're all taking it in turns and um, how they're scoring it. There were some kids you can tell like are oh, just made for this. <laughs> <laughs> this is what they want to do, right? Because they're just or they're just naturally good. And there were some kids that weren't bothered. And then there were some kids that were like in the middle, they just wanted to have fun with their friends. Which you're gonna do so, in it, like, but you you know when you see like that disappointment in a kid that really wants to win. Aww. I find the ones funny where the, the kid just isn't doesn't clock the rules, so the race will start <laughs> and the child will run towards their parent. Yeah. <laughs> they run off the truck and run to them like oh, I run towards their parent. I'm like, bro, there's a race going on. Yeah, I mean I've, they're they're a little bit too old for that. Yeah. To happen now, but um, yeah, it was it was a fun day, you know. Um, you know, sometimes you banter with the other parents, and um, yeah, it was fun. Sick. I was just disappointed that I didn't get to do something. No, we got so to go next year, man. Show up in your like outfits, and you didn't get to race. He was there with a headband on, like the Brown James. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was ready for his socks up. Oh, the old school drip. Yeah, love that for you, man. Don't worry, man. Our time soon come, man. Yeah, yeah competing. I can kickball. That doesn't even sound convincing. <laughs> Why'd you say it like that? Do you know what it is? I think it's also that the shoulder shrug. I think it's just like the energy when you say, I kickball. It's just yeah. not very. I kick oh, ball. that's not convincing. Like, I can kickball. But I'm just so confident with it. Like, yeah. Mm. Come I on. know what you're going to be. You're just going to be an MS mom. Like, school run, that's go crazy. gym, in the range. Day and that in the rain. Pulling yeah. up the road and that. Pilates. Uh, Fag hey, out the window, big sunglasses. Oh, yeah. Pilates are getting amazing PR yeah. right now. Hmm? Pilates, yeah. they're getting amazing PR right now. All the babes are doing Pilates. Very true. Core that. Tone in. Mm. How comes the man them don't do Pilates? If we start speaking. No, I went to a Pilates class and there was a lot of guys in there. I swear down. But really? yeah. It was just older, white guys, quite petite. Right. Yeah. I thought you were trying to something else. I was going to go on a Steph yeah. London tip. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not the same. No way. Oh, Steph wait. London I'm tip. so shy for is, is that a good place to start? <laughs> yeah, let's go. So Steph London was, uh, what's it, After Sun, Love yeah. Island. Mm. Um, I didn't watch the whole episode. I just watched the clip. We're going to See, gonna I watched the whole episode, yeah. <laughs> okay, go on, go through so, it. So I watched the whole episode. And firstly, that's the first and last time they ever let her in that ever. building. Because watching the whole thing... That felt inevitable. Like what she was about to do. What she was bound like. to say something, make a slip up. Because even when they came back from the ad break, um, she was checking her makeup on her phone. So she's holding her phone up, like checking her makeup. She's got sunglasses on her head. Like she's so cozy. Mm. Molly comes to sit on the sofa and talk to my jamma. And like Steph's like leaning, leg crossed, like facing away from her. So the whole thing is like, who even got this Raz Babe on this, pla- this oh. platform? Yeah? yeah. And then when she says it, it's like, she, in her mind, she was like, I shouldn't say this. And she still said it. And then went, it's given both. So it went from homophobia to biophobia to... Anyways, man, I said what I said. And it was just like... I heard she said that there needs to be some hood niggas in there. Yeah, she had like, she's basically she's some she hood said. boys. Like she's some, some road, road man. man yeah. 
It was, uh, it was down. What? I said it was so bad. No, so but it's for, it it's for the white girl that's a bit bigger as well. So it made it even worse. So bring oh, down for me. What, why, um, why is what she said in reference to Mehdi? Because obviously everyone, we see it online. A lot of mm. people have said that they think Mehdi is a little um, flexible. That's people have insinuated that he's queer for ages, yeah? Yeah. But I think the difference between, because everyone's trying to do the whole, well, if you guys can tweet it, she can say it. There's no problem it's with it. But it's TV, like, man. Yeah. There's, a, there's a slight difference because the same way we've everyone's questioned whether Scott likes black women on the TL, why did Steph not go and say that on national TV? Like the way you can kind of, you can differentiate between what's online and what's real life. You shouldn't be yeah. thinking it or saying it in the first place, but come on. like We do though. And I, I think like, like we like stop pretending that like we don't, we don't stereotype people. Like it depends on the setting um, I don't and think, how loose the conversation is. I just, I just think that, well, there was two sides of the conversation in it. Like obviously the homophobia angle and then the fact that she said it on national TV. Because yeah. some people were like, yeah, okay. Like people have insinuated that yeah. um, up and down the timeline, but it's, you know, it's a forum. It's it's not in. What she saying? Is denigrating? Was there a certain tone? Like she didn't need to say it. I think that's that's the premise of it. Yeah, she did not like it. It made no sense. In the but the thing is, she went, as she said herself. it though. But as she said it, yeah, she paused and had a thought, and her brain still told her to say that. It was my problem. So it's like the pause to be like, um, it's given. He doesn't even like females anyway. That sentence in itself is insane. You could have just stopped there. And then you went around and went. It's given he likes both. What are you even talking? Shush, stop, but Listen, stop. do you know what's mainstream? It's given. <laughs> I love it. I will say though, yeah, whether he is or he isn't, yeah, the hips are giving belly dancer. When Donnie is swaying through the house and that, yeah. He's saying beautiful lion, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 Are you Maybe okay? Maybe he's walking through the house, yeah, swaying. Shakira, yeah. Right he's mm. swaying for them. Arguing with him would piss me off. Because you're not going to come and sway away from me. Are you like, sashay away? Like, how dare you? Sashay, so- Shantae. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... Wow. I have, we, 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 um, one of our groups, I said, we were back, like, going back and forth about it. My thing was, it was funny seeing the people that were having an issue with it online when, like, we've seen... This isn't the first, second or third time someone on Love Island, especially on our bubble of black Twitter, there'll be someone that'll be like, there, like, is he or isn't he? And seeing those same people not acting like holy than now that this is so wrong when I've seen your tweets <laughs> nigga I okay. can see you I saw your tweets when you were saying the same things that's why I find it hilarious I do get where you guys are coming from mm. it being on national TV and it just being on your um, on your feed is different but don't do the extra outrage when like mm. you move the same way and you didn't correct it when you saw it as well because if it's in essence if it was wrong then it's still wrong mm. what you're basically saying is what just say brazy stuff behind closed doors because you're all to open our like group chats now or someone catch you off guard when you're having that loose conversation when no one's around. <sighs> Is but it always to, on the nose and people PC? People need to utilise their group chats enough now. Like that's, if you're, if you're going to say some insane things, people have some insane views. Like don't have them. But if you do, like why must you tell the world all the time? Yeah. Why can't you just tell your friends? Why, why have you not got any friends? Well, we know? are in the spirit of, um, spirit? In the spirit. <laughs> In an era, (laughs) hey yo, (laughs) we're in an era of like oversharing. Like we know too much about everyone. Way too much. Do you know what I'm saying? Like where people are putting their loved ones in line to get cooked. That's how much like you know people overshare sometimes. You know. We haven't referenced it, but I hear you still. I saw, I saw it. I've seen it. No, but it happens. Inside joke, but yeah, it happens. Yeah, and it happens all the time. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like there's just certain things like and. Circles have been made, obviously, but they're circle snitching as well because you know there's no circles isn't a real thing. I still stand. Yeah. I still stand by this thing. There's nothing. There's no such thing. From when I've said um, ages ago, there's no such thing as deleted tweet on on the internet with Twitter and that circles for me is an edit thing, bro. If you're gonna if you're gonna say it on there, say it with your chest, man, because it's gonna come out anyway. I yeah. think it's going to come out. It always does come out. It always comes out. I think um, circle is also good if you just want to tweet without mass interaction. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. Do you know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like because like, so you say the sky is blue and someone starts coming. Bro, and arguing like, with you. Do you know what I mean? Like and um, the over uh, familiarity on on socials as well. Like you can be tweeting and then someone's just coming in. Like and but no one asks you who are you. Like <laughs> you don't even have a picture in your avi. Fair. I get you. I get you. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I think that is another element to it. It's not just to say outlandish things. Um, without any repercussion, but you're talking as you a know. very sane individual <laughs> that I could trust, didn't that it? Is it? So your biases, bro. You're not 
even yeah. doing that mad stuff on there anyway. Mm-hmm. But something you're utilizing it for that and being upset when stuff comes out. I'm actually happy you got you got outed because, bro, you don't try and hide behind the third wall. And I want to see what you lot are doing over there as well, man. See mm. you in my eyes like this. And, I, and it's funny when those things come out. Like, right, look, your little community that you curated. Look, there's no even no. They broke the circle of trust. Yeah, oh. they did. So, but yeah. back to the stuff thing. I think your PR is not great anyway. Someone said we move it fresh on the streets. That's insane, you know. Like, <laughs> like your songs already. You've got backlash from that amount of hours before. Yeah. But maybe she was trying to take attention off the song, innit? So and homophobia was the way to do it. Ah, <laughs> there must be better ways. Oh, she went yeah. for that deadly cocktail, innit? <laughs> yeah. She was a, P- a publicist. Like, you she, have to quit. Was, yeah, I yeah, mean. But no, I don't, if sometimes, bro, artists, they're going to do what they want to do. They are. But there's, do you know what? Like, there's just so many things that, like, she's known for negatively. <laughs> like, it's just mad. <laughs> And it doesn't seem like it's going to end. <laughs> the whole consistent. family have bad PR. The whole they family. do, yeah, they do, yeah. Well, at least they're consistent, if that's one thing. Yeah. Mm, yeah. She's just like the living embodiment of sense has chased you all your life, but you are faster. Like, you think so? I hate, you know how much I hate that saying? <laughs> I love it. Because <laughs> what? Yeah, you are faster. It's, it's I hear chasing it. you and you're just sprinting. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't, I wanna, yeah, I do, I don't want to miss too long. Aside from this, how many... Dumb things have been said or happened or things that you could reference as like bad PR for her or oh no she's no she's got a list that like she's got a list yeah. like there was colorism there was classism job like, shaming there was like <laughs> no but you see the job shaming they see the job shaming thing here it depends on who it is because I can always say Blair Brown's been calling us broke for for ten summers yeah but Blair Brown says it and then basically asks you if you want to like Do you want employment yeah so he's like that's that's recruitment it's just in a, done in a different way you saying indeed exactly so hey that's just his way of LinkedIn. But Steph doesn't come yeah, with like, like... paint a picture for us, not <laughs> actually like take a picture of someone at their like, employment. Look, look at what they're doing. Oh, she took a someone? Like, <laughs> yeah. Maybe I forgot, I forgot <laughs> some of her... Um, she, there's quite a few. Everyone's like, That's that why you need of, to like, be a, a boss. And I'm like, okay, but you need workers, <laughs> B. Like, what are you talking about? People that, she employed to like fix her house. Oh, yeah. Really? And yeah, and it was like... Oh, and everyone was just like, why? Yeah. But again, why would you not send that to your friend and just key key privately? Like... You're going to be a prick Just do it privately I guess And the music Hasn't been good Awful That's the thing as well We need to, we need to also lead with like If the music slaps enough We'll let you get away With a lot of things it It's true But, but it, it doesn't. doesn't Okay so, 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 so that be the focus Like if you really want To do this thing <laughs> yeah, Just make sure you have bangers Yeah Have enough to distract us The thing is Yeah you, it, 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 it gives you that leverage mm. You know what I mean It allows you that leeway oh, Yeah piece of shit But you make bangers <laughs> So I'm guessing you guys Didn't enjoy the song That was premiered at, Was it Did I anyone hear it before Glastonbury Did you enjoy the song I've only seen a snippet 10 seconds Fam, That's enough Eric. Is that enough it was, It's oh. enough Can you not let me Can you let me lead the witness Can you <laughs> I'm, I, I'm asking the question Go no, through, I'll bro. take you right there It's horrible <laughs> <laughs> That's all I needed yeah. I was like what, what on earth is this Yeah I listened to the whole thing um, Wasn't Wasn't moved As they say <laughs> Okay isn't that enjoyable? I think we've hit a point yet where sampling music is meant to be a cheat code to get a good pop song, but no one's trying to make good pop music anymore. Okay. And especially like, Steph can so easily make good pop music. She refuses to go to Down dance producers. Lane. Like she won't go to good producers. But then that's what makes me question your artistry, especially when you have the resources that she has. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you can get yourself in a better situation than this. Like, because... As far as like the the girlies go in in UK rap, like you know, she would still have a lot of the budget would be at at Steph's disposal in comparison to to a lot of the others. Obviously, Sims included. She's she, she's over there making videos with Dave Myers and shit. Stylistically, but, she's in a different. I'm not gonna place. Like, yeah, yeah. Sims isn't the same when you talk about. Yeah, yeah, but, like rap, uh, yeah. I don't. Like I don't really. Rap. Yeah, I don't really include her. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking is, about Steph bad bitch rap. On, like, she's she's independent. She's not signed. She's only signed to QC in America. Yeah. She's actually an independent artist. So the move she's mm, making. My makes baby sits with the facts. Give, them, was- give them facts. <laughs> facts, yeah. nigga, facts. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, mean, man. she is, but like also she, there's a lot more bread over there than, do you know what I'm Definitely, saying? There's like, a chance for her to make, she's got better connections as well. This is it. Like, That's part can, of the resources. I'm not like, just talking purely money. Yeah, she can go to like a Fred again and make a, make a dance track if she wants to. But she's going to like these random producers that don't make that music and giving them really weird samples. 
Like you have to clear these things you're using like ten percent of the sample, and you're giving us that. Mm. Sent, she's faster. That's what it comes. To. She is faster. Uh, yeah, it's just not. Cl- <laughs> it's, so it's, 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 it's not clicking, and, it, and I don't think it has for a very long time. Um, Which is why anytime you've had those conversations about women in rap and like award award season, mm. and we're always looking at the same category, it's that same num same names in, this, in the category. And she'll always kind of be in there because... There was one year, though, yeah. that she won... I think it was a GRM award. And honestly, I was actually... I was like, did why she not, yeah, did she not actually... She came it. on stage herself and... Um, she hadn't released really music in 11 months. Yeah. yeah. So since the last award cycle, that year, it should have gone to IVD. Yeah. And everyone knew this. It should have gone to IVD. It made no sense for it to go to Steph. The fact that... The person that's picking up the award is even saying, I don't know why you guys gave this to me. Are you not embarrassed? Yeah, but then you've got to tell all the other people's fans to get their bread up, man. You guys yeah, because it wasn't public pay, voted. Pay for better wife that no, man. that no, that wasn't public voted. That was voted by the academy. So it was by the and, GRM team. And this okay. is part of the resources. It's like she's going to be in favor because of what she's done, and um, she had a, a an international hit. But since then, like it's been a struggle. Mm. It's been an absolute struggle, and it's like, what what do you even know the type of artist that you are anymore? Do you know what? Yeah, I would say this, that being an artist, especially um, a girl that makes like the bad bitch rap in the UK, it's so tough because like, what, like, who even is your fan base? The fan base is fake because they don't, you guys don't want to hear it from UK. Um, it's UK not our spirits. culture. The truth is it literally isn't our culture. So it's really tough and it's not convincing and no one is making that pure bad bitch rap. Like you're not going over to like your metros and getting those kind of beats. So it makes no sense. Like, you can't rely on a J5 to make a ratchet beat. Like, it doesn't... It's not yeah. his nature. And who's going to rap on it? Steph, but she's still going to do it in Patois. So it's just a dancehall track. Mm. It doesn't exist in the UK. Well, it will come across that way just because of... Yeah. yeah like, of the Steph style. said some really good verses um, since she got signed to QC when she was in America. But nothing's really come of them. Yeah. Mm. Like, nothing's really hit. Um, and... She still manages to keep herself relevant a bit. I I just see Steph as a celebrity more than an artist now. I think that she's also aided by the fact no one no one other than the obvious person that everyone always references in terms of Sims has really truly closed that gap. Mm-hmm. That's what is as much as like there's an element of her doing that. You know, always looks sort of good on the gram. Relationship will help. The time she was a burner, mm-hmm. um, the gap was never truly closed. No one's had put their flag in the ground and said, you know, I'm here, here's this project, or here's this, truly here's this song with impact. We've had little moments here or there, but... We thought it was going to be IVD. But, no, no, because at a point it was like... Oh, you know, rumours dropped and that was a big song. Rumours was doing what it was doing, but then she, the whole situation with the label and her not releasing music to doing shows... So you lose momentum. With three songs. That makes like, you're at a festival doing shows with only three songs. Yeah. And then you're not allowed to release anything else. Okay, yeah, for someone that's a little bit on the other side, yeah, what would you, in terms of, would you want your act or someone that you mess with to turn down that opportunity? So you're new, you're fresh, mm-hmm. you've got a big song out, you've only got three songs, you're doing a festival, should she say no to that booking for now until she's built up a bit more of a catalogue? No, no, do the booking, but the fact that you actually can't release anything after that time anyway, it's like you're going to still do the same festivals with the same three songs. So that means... Yeah. As the years go on, your set time isn't going to be any later. You're still going to be on at 2 a.m., 2 p.m., sorry. Okay. Performing the same three songs. It's like, you're just kind of like a checkbox as opposed to like talent they really want on the bill. So it looks like, looks like okay, we have we are ticking the black and the woman quota maybe. Yeah, um, or just diversity in general. Like, oh, we need some rap. Put some rap in there. Yeah. When it comes from a black woman as well, even, even better. It's like, mm. it's not given, you know? Some of these artists just sound like they're not in the studio enough. I wonder what artists think when they hear us us uh, unqualified. Because <laughs> I know the same way we sit down and dissect music. I know they sit down and break down like, oh, um, people that have opinions in music. Because I'm, I'm seeing that the tide is turning a bit with regards to some people that people liked at a point or um, artists now, artists themselves actually pushing more for the outspoken person. But I'm like, you guys yourselves are always very, very... Sensitive, in my opinion, artists are so and sensitive. I get it because it's your art and you put time into it. For everything, but they, I'm seeing more artists tweet. Where's the UK version, such and such, or the outspoken person, or like they're all liars. 
Okay. They are and all who's liars. saying it? Like, <laughs> who's okay. really saying no, it's, it? It's street rappers, and they have a bias because for them, their threshold for what's extreme might be different to a civilian, isn't it? <laughs> so in their eyes, a little punch in the face isn't a big deal. They're Whereas, still looking because they're still looking for uh, an industry within that industry. In or within that community, so you like, need to respect they, it. I think like you need you need to it works in tandem because like that is also part of the thing. The people that do the whether it's gossip, commentary, interviews, content, which is a big umbrella. Yeah, that services because you need somewhere to go to promote essentially. Mm. But they want somewhere that's like on par with like all the mainstream entities to be able to talk the real stuff. Yeah, I find that so funny because a lot of the artists are the ones that get angry when. Shade by a process stuff. Yeah. You won't be able to hack someone sat down and being like, that album was shit and just say it, it was shit. Yeah. I think they will cry. You know, that's what, what um, because that's what I see as well as a rebuttal from a lot of artists is the unqualified. What do you think makes someone qualified to give their POV on music, culture? What makes someone qualified? I used to think as long as you listen to tons of music, but now it's like, if you listen to that genre and you listen to it your whole life, yeah. Honestly, like, I don't think no one can be qualified or unqualified to comment on music. It just depends. I would decide whether you're qualified or not, depending on how you put your opinion across. Yeah. And honestly, who you say your top five is and certain things. So if, like, there's, like, rappers... Yeah, but that's when you get the snobby <laughs> element. No, sorry, no, sorry, because there's certain people, yeah, over in the States, and there's this, there's this one boy on TikTok, and he's um, number one rapper of all times, Eminem. I'm never going to take you seriously. Like, I can never do it, because, no, we're not doing that. He's, he's just not, and that's okay. How old is he? He's like 26, 27. And yeah. that really comes with a bit of like, oh, you new kids, all you guys listen to is like Little Baby and Gunner. And it's like, oh, shut up. Like, he wasn't old enough old heads. in Eminem's hey. Eminem hasn't been good since See, 2003. You're trying to, you're like, you're trying too hard. I'm not convinced. So I don't care about your opinion. Are you kind of tapping into that thing that Tyler the Creator was talking about? I think he had a, I don't know if he was a rap radar interview. He's talking and saying yeah. that um, when people come out and say, oh, yeah. I grew up like Biggie or like yes, those, some of those yeah those, yeah those people should, in my opinion should be in your top five. But are you saying it because you truly enjoyed and lived that music, mm. or are you just saying because you know that's, that's the reference point? My top five will never ever have Biggie or Tupac in it. Okay, I'm born in 2000. Yeah, okay. So you literally, yeah. some of them passed away before I was born. Yeah, like, way before. Who were these niggas? Like, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> like that's crazy. Okay, okay, like, okay. Now nah, that is for? real. Who am I performing for? That's ridiculous. My top five. Well, what if like, you went back and listened yeah. and you truly enjoyed the music? Could but they still enter your top five? I feel like it's still. I can't know. It won't enter my top five because I still feel like there's there's moments, yeah, especially in things like hip hop, where. Um, you enjoy a culture of something that existed. The stuff around it. Like, it's there's, there's more than just the music, it's what it brought with it. It's the same things like, like grime and stuff. Like, grime was cool as, as a genre, but what it came with made it even cooler. Yeah. But if I wasn't outside for that, who am I actually lying to? Yeah. yeah. Nah, I hear it, man. That would, it would just be like my little brothers telling me that Biggie's like in their top five. And you're looking at them like, <laughs> all you listen to all day is little baby. Come on, man. Yeah. Like, be, and, be who you are. And like, no matter how how much like they've grown up, listening to what me and my older like my other siblings were listening to they would still grow up and listen to what's out what's new what their friends are listening to because they won't be yeah. listening to that do you know what i'm saying like so mm. it's just so like when tyler was saying like he's frustrated by listening to all these people's top five it's just you're pandering at this point yeah you're yeah. pretending mm. like the, these men aren't in your rotation, fam. Like, yeah. be just be true to who you are. There will be some people that, like, if you've got um, an older sibling and that stuff played in the house, maybe. No, that's true, because there's still that, certain grime guys that'd be like, oh. Mm. You know who those people yeah. are, so um, those people, I kind of understand it. Some people just, like, grow up really quickly with mm. those type of things as well, where, like, you're hearing some music. Growing up hard. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 Growing up rough around the edges. <laughs> Just because it's there or like your parents. Because you know like some people's parents, like my, our experience was certain music wasn't playing the house. So oh, my no other, some of my other friends, I was going in there, I was hearing some of the wickedest music. Yeah. And I'm Last looking, time I heard Ludacris was because Florian had a CD. Um, what, Chicken it, and Beer or something. Yeah. Yeah. And the cover was outrageous. Yeah. I gave it to my sister. I was like, oh my gosh, we listened to it. It's very vulgar. Damn. Great music though. Luda. Fantastic mm. rapper. Yeah. What are you guys um top five suya spots? I just wanna just wanna check. 
I just want to test the temperature in the okay. room. Aye, that's number one. Okay. <laughs> can, you, can you let check my All fingers right, right now? I want to try it. I want to try it. I know. I don't ask me what to try. I want to be your top five places to get suya from. I don't know. Suya factory. Cold, very cold. Yeah, shout out to them. Yeah. Oh, have any? Have I had it from? I went to a spot the other day. Up, okay. um, oh, wow. After what? New Cross, I've already dropped you, so I'm going to commit to it. Um, wow. See? See your Academy. See what I see. <laughs> wow. You're taking too long. Wow. <laughs> Back to you in the studio, no, Chrissy. I don't want it. You don't want it. No, finish. No. Tantrum. What? Hating hive. Hating hive. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Not too much on you. Not too much on you. We. Uh, all the, we well, got to get all the jokes out in the first hour and after that. <laughs> so hang on, where did you Sydney. say you went? Suya Academy. What? Yeah. Suya Academy. Academy. The Academy yeah. of Suya. The Academy of Suya, what do you yeah. <laughs> What? The upper echelon. Yeah, higher learning. Yeah, yeah come on. Learning. Funny name. Sorry. <laughs> Academy. Yeah, Suya Academy. What are they, like Avengers? <laughs> they, in, 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 indeed. <laughs> it slaps. Oh, was it good? It was good, yeah. Where it is good. it? Uh, it's just after New Cross. Okay. Yeah, yeah so it's not... It was, Suya Academy. Mm. I only bring this up because obviously some <laughs> people's daughters was in higher and that licking Suya residue off people's fingers and stuff. Blood in my eyes. And Must I just wanted good. to say if I ever call any of you two, yeah, I'll disown both of you. You don't know we're ladies? You better be. Why would I even be in Suya in the first place? Can you imagine? Well, you can eat Suya. Oh, yeah, because you're vegan, isn't it? So. Okay. But who knows? What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like, like, no, vegan pork. Suya. <laughs> Vegan suit is crazy. I made Probably, vegan suit before. Yeah, I made that mushroom. Yeah. Nah, come on, man. Don't call it that then. <laughs> no, because it literally Just, is. Just like, call it what it is. Yeah, let's get to what's, what's going on this vegan thing, man. Like, come <laughs> on, bro. Like, when are you, you going to drop this out, man? You're such a like, makeup. You, 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 you always invite me to your house and you make me vegan food. So why do you lie? Yeah, because I'm going to cater to my sister. You crazy. But like, deep down, bro, like, I'm, <laughs> I'm waiting for you to slip up. Like, what's no, going you're, on? you're not really about the hate. Because if you were, yeah. you'd make sure I come to your house and I starve. But I never starve. So do you think mum can let me get away with that? Potentially, and she's do you done think, it before. Do you, think, do you think I would do? I would do that to you. <laughs> no, I don't think you have it in you. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah, but you're not really about the hate. You're not committing to it. No, it is. You're vegan. Sauce is vegan. I just felt like <laughs> I was fucking getting attacked by the attack of the vegans, oh. left, right, and center. You don't want to let the meat go, now. Nah? I see what you did there. Hey, yo. I, I see. <laughs> I, I see what you did there. It, it was cute, you know. But I'm matured. You're not yeah, going to step along to me. <laughs> no pause in this, right? Yeah, no pause over here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More meat, man. Good for you, Kim. Yeah. Hey, yo. <laughs> <laughs> one day you'll grow up. Well, just one day. One, one, one day, you know. It's yeah. silly, but it's, it's funny. It's silly, but it's funny, yeah. yeah. So when are you going to give up the vegan thing, this man? Um, I don't see it. Like, can, I, can I ask, what prompted you to um, become a vegan? Do you know what, yeah? People ask me this all the time and I've lied so often, I think I've kind of forgotten. But it was a mixture of things because even when I was younger, I was a bit of a fussy eater. Oh, one of them um, ones. Yeah. True, yeah. I hate them kids. Not like super fussy, but like, if we bought like KFC, I'd eat like all the skins. You'll just eat the skin? I really like I understand that. I can, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I have a problem with the people that take off the skin. That was yeah. my childhood. What? Why did you do that? I, it wasn't my choice. What? My mom was just like, so unhealthy. So I was like, but we're eating KFC. But if you eat it fast enough, so she won't have Wait, oh, where do you think the, the oil is? It's, it's them people that are, oh, I'm going to get a Diet Coke. A lot, man. You're going to be here, man. <laughs> I was just like, hun. She was like, no, it's just so unhealthy. That's so the best thing about like, it. Yeah. Damn. It's you like, oh, you, you, chicken you saved 20 calories. You're already here, man. <laughs> I wanted it. Yeah. There's still like lots of oil. In yeah. So much oil. So it doesn't stop at the skin. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, it was a bit of fussy, really. Fair. Okay. And you know then, is, I respect the dedication. Thanks, man. I mean, appreciate you for Lauren. Yeah. But like, what's the vegan myths though? Because like, there's people that walk around and say, "Oh, since I became a vegan, I've never been sick." <laughs> My favorite one is, um, "I'm full of energy all the time." <sighs> That's just not the truth, from people, <laughs> is it? Were no, you like, saying you're anemic? Th- don't do that to me. You not? Don't do that to me. Else can you oh, chill out? Man. <laughs> <laughs> can you no, chill out, like, chill out. Chill if you take like the right um, vitamins and supplements and stuff, you'll be good. As vegans, you need like B12. That's the one that everyone needs. Mm. And vegans don't really get that. Everything else you can get: protein, vitamin C, vitamin D. You're you're good. But B12 is like where it really fucks you up. Mm. So if you've got your magnesium, your calcium, and your B12, get that B12. You're good to go. Okay. Yeah. 
But like the first month or so of being vegan, you will be like full of life. But I do think that's just because of adrenaline and a bit of like taking everyone's told supplements you. at twenty is crazy. You should be. What? Why don't you care about your body? I mean, I do you take supplements now? Man? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's crucial. You should have seen him here last week. He went to bed now to pick up his bag. Yeah, Listen, me and Chris was like, he might not come back up. It's crucial to your day to day. All stuff like that, innit? Mm, yeah. All of that. I respect you guys. It's needed, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Do we do we come across super old to you? I'm very when, intrigued by this. When you stretch to get your phone from the table, you said, ah! and I said, oh no. Ah. But yeah, nowadays, I, when I'm you exaggerate a little bit, though. Man. Nah, but no, nah, no, I'm sorry. No. When I sit down now, I'm rejoicing. When, when the fact sat down, I thought he was going to say, oh, thank you, God, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm like, ah, yes. Yeah. I made it. You're working hard, man. Yeah. What's the, um, that's what I was going to ask you. What's the best thing about being my little sister? Mind your business, bro. That's such a good question, yeah, yeah. Florian. Um, I really enjoy having. I, an I older like these brother. two on here. <laughs> like this okay, I really this. enjoy having an older brother. Okay, that isn't super annoying. Okay, I feel like I know people with older brothers, and they're like, "Yeah, I can't do this, do that." I'm like, "Sucks to be you." But um, one thing that's not great about having an older brother is that it comes with having like eighty older brothers. Okay, so you have one, so that means you naturally have eighty. So I'll be outside just like. Having fun, as you do. Define having fun. Young, wild, and lit, yeah. <laughs> I turned to my left, turned to my right. Um, one time, I was out with a gentleman, and one of your friends almost beat him up, so... Okay. Come on. And then someone else literally has to hold him back, and I was like, no, trust me, it's fine, it's not that... And it wasn't what even was the Donny kind of, doing though? Like, no, no, we weren't, we weren't doing? even close to each other. We actually were, we were talking. Like, it wasn't even crazy. Like, we were actually speaking. It doesn't have to be crazy. I just need to know what the Donny was doing. Speaking, this person can't speak anymore. Do you nah, know, but do, like do you know sometimes, distance, I need between man, you and other men. I need certain man, I need, like, like pre the stance. What I is his stance? I need. We were literally like, I was just gonna always send him at my. Did arms he have across. his ha- um his arms behind his back? I don't know. I think he's quite sure. Just I need. Yeah. He really the knew that all the brothers were in there, so he was quite scared in itself. Like, if I'm there's shivering. a man near you, I need. Me, Vans, one of my guys to be able to like park a double decker bus between you and him. You know, That's how much serious. space I need between you. Know, you. But I'm and ridiculous. Do you know what you, I mean? Like, can, 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 I'm ridiculous. Can you even imagine? Can you stay at this, please? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, but, okay. can you even imagine? No, but I'm, you know, this is all capped. I'm, yeah. even, I'm not even really like that, innit? So. Yeah, you're not. Mm. Everyone else is. Yeah. But that's, I, I enjoy that because I can be good cop and be like, oh, don't worry, I'll speak to them, I'll ring them. Yo, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> good looking out. Good looking out. Yeah. Yeah, man, it happens when you have a little sister. You can ask me the question back in reverse. Yeah, what do you love about being my old brother? Um, just watching you chase your dreams and do like do your thing and be like unapologetically yourself. <laughs> no, no, generally because I just I said. So no, I said wait, you got something to say over no, there. No, you good over there? Yeah, you good over there. The thing is, that's, right. that's, that's hate over there. That's hate. <laughs> <laughs> hate in hive. Ah, <laughs> oh, I love it. No, because it's only I, taking you eight years to invite your sister on. It's crazy, isn't it? It's, it's crazy. No, because I have been here before, like, but they got me behind, yeah. behind <laughs> under the recording. table. No, that I was crazy. This is um, what you call artist development. <laughs> <laughs> you know, say we're not developing artists in the UK. That's insane. Well, on that that flow trajectory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah artist development. No, it's just being out and like you being the reference brand. Oh, that's Bisola's older brother. That I proper enjoy. That's proper nice. Like, oh yeah, nice. She's really doing her thing. Like, anytime I see anyone that like I rock with or that I know is giving opportunity or holding you down, I'm like, I'll just extend the hand and say, I appreciate you, thank, thank you, you know. I'm sure she's getting off merit. She's not getting it because you're my sister. She's, mm. But still, it's you're doing your thing. And it's, I think that's, yeah, just um, you're quite headstrong. So like, we've had our chats even just off content we've had on here. And you'd be like, oh, I didn't like this, I didn't like that. And just watching you grow and formulate your own identity and your own opinion on things. I'm like, oh, okay, like she's got a, a good world view. Mm, these 2000 babies are useful. Yeah, these millennium babies. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah. you, 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 you won't know this, but the world was meant to end before, <laughs> by the time you was born. <laughs> Do you remember the Y2K thing? Yeah, bro. Yeah, like, I was looking out my classroom window. You're lucky like, you made it. <laughs> <laughs> so you lot are like a blessed bunch. That meteor. Yeah, you lot are a blessed bunch. Because what was my man, David Icke? He's like, the world's going to end. Mm. Okay, what's one thing you don't like? Um, you being young, free and lit, innit? Oh, no. <laughs> Why do you bitch, like that? What can you do, man? You know, because that comes with a lot, isn't it? It's a full time yeah. job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've been enjoying yourself a little too much, or like you're growing up a bit too much for my for my I life. I imagine we were in Mosi, and there was one day. It was the last night. Yeah, talking to a friend of mine. Yeah, Florian taps my shoulder and says, "I can see you." Bro, man's like a shaka. Yeah, 
and one Donny standing in the vicinity. I'll be honest, yeah, I was gonna crash him. <laughs> yeah, but what did he do? And he'd already been he was just standing. He was just standing too close, man. I was like, I know that move, bro. I hear that. See, but also he got threatened the day before. I'm familiar. The with, I'm familiar with your game. The start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was just yeah. like. I just had to have, I'm just basically saying I'm hearing it. We know what the man yeah, are on, so yeah. you know we can pre the start. And I had to add like, 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 see him as well. Yeah. I was like, huh? <laughs> That's right. But I never want to. I never want to like like rain your parade and ruin your fun and stuff in it. So, yeah. um, and it's just it's just a trust thing. Enjoy yourself, stay safe, and if you need to come to, come to me for anything, come to me for anything, innit? So, no way. But you know that big brother thing or big sister thing. You not, you're not going to innit? I have to like lay it out there like the options there. But I know she's <laughs> never gonna come to me for that. I got older sister. What yes. <laughs> Uh, and you're yeah. not very close in it, so yeah. um Yeah, you, you go down the peg and all this still. No, I do wow. I cl- bro, they all and it's even getting worse now because Oh, they link up without you and that. They've been doing that, bro. <laughs> I hear that. <laughs> of course. We just gotta let them do it, do their yeah, thing. But I it's nice it. when I come back when I come around. There was one funny time I come home, yeah. Um small, small, small misogyny. I, ca- I come to the house and that, yeah, and these lot was um they were cutting spinach. I'm like, this is fantastic. When I get home, this is what I want to see. I want to see everyone slaving away in the kitchen. Not, that's <laughs> From that's now on. Insane. That's how you cut. That's how you chop spinach. Do you know what? I don't mind it because every time Fularen comes to the house, I make sure the bins are full. So if Fularen tells me he's covered over, I don't throw the bins out. Mm. I'm just like, why would I? Because I did notice that trend. I come to my mum's house. I'm like, even said the hair bins before. are all like... He always says, he's like, why are the bins always full? I'm like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> No idea, mate. And there's always like, there's always clothes to be ironed. Every time when it comes to the house, there's clothes to be ironed. Oh, the bins are full. No, but my I'm um an acts of service love person. That's Sneakers really up true. at six a.m. Yeah, cleaning. I don't. I, do you know it is? Yeah. So <laughs> trying to convince your mum that you want to go and play football on a Saturday on a Sunday. Yeah. Fair. When you've got church in the morning. And even to go training, there's always, you know, the weekend is like, it wasn't for fun like that. And it was just for, mm. to maximize the edge of your hands in the house. Isn't it? Monday to Friday, you can get with not doing much, but the weekend's here, you need to make up for it. So I'm just so used to waking up early on the weekend and getting shit done. So it, at this point, it's just habit. It isn't even me like trying, it's just purely habit. Yeah, no, I just like to give you shit about it. Yeah, because I'll be, because every, everyone's on to me. But you know what's beautiful though sometimes, yeah? By like midday, I could have done everything I needed to do for the whole weekend. Nah, it's a good trait to have. But I'm shattered. Uh, yeah, it's like, don't you nap? <laughs> Tired. Oh, what? Man. I'm so knackered, isn't it? but it's just, I just can't get out of habit, innit? I do like it when I want, like, when I just want to chill. Because there's nothing worse than, like, Sunday comes now, like, you're hanging from a Saturday night, and, like, Monday's round the corner like that, and you just, you still got to tidy your house, still got to do laundry, all these things. Because the weekend's more like your deep clean time, innit? That's what I utilize the weekend for, innit? So, um, I've got some more questions. Because, you know, it is, we, I would like to think we reason and we chat and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, but, a bit of me wanted to use today just to kind of like with the comfortability of being here and you've got like extra safety because you've got a couple of people between me and you so um, you're on radio mm-hmm. and that's also part of me in terms of like being proud of you and seeing what you're doing and like right, my sister's killing it and like forging our own path what made you want to get into radio? Um, I guess I always wanted to present and I was trying to figure out what that looked like I enjoyed music and just had to find a good way to eventually end up on tv okay and i was like i actually really do enjoy this idea of like being on radio like really practicing my craft yeah so i was like fuck it i'm gonna find mm. a way to do it and where was your like your first spot what was the first place you were like okay cool i can it was at represent yeah. that was so like i'm still at represent and that was the first station um i ever got opportunity to do anything i did a training course like around the corner from here um it was like 10 weeks long i remember doing it and it was like week nine and ten. I was like, okay, how am I gonna stay on? Because they don't t- they don't really retain people. So I need to figure out a way. Like, what's the master plan? And the lady in charge, the emailed her. I was like, hey, thanks so much for the last like nine to ten weeks. It's been fantastic. Um, like how how do I stay on? And she's like, yeah, we'll let you know if there's any opportunities. And I was emailing like almost every other Friday. Yeah. Just to get something. And they offered me a slot on a show that I really didn't want because it was during a math lesson. So I was still in school at the time. Mm. And then they offered me Henry's show. And I was like, you know, I have to do this. That was also during another maths lesson as well. But I was like, it's S2. So it's like the second part of maths. Like, I'm smart. I'll figure it out. Mm. And then it was also like, if I stayed a bit longer as well, during the economics lesson, my economics teacher, God will do with her. She, one time, <laughs> no, one time she called my mom and was like, yeah, but so I missed economics. 
And the thing is, I actually didn't miss it. We had a five minute rule at school. So if you weren't in the room by five minutes, you can't come in. So it's five minutes. She's just let this random go in. I might just go in and she shut the door. So I'm like, okay, so you're not letting me in. Can I just get the coursework for like the lesson? Mm. And she was like, well, if you're on time, you'd have it. And I was like, well, I'm not. So can we sort this out? Why does the teacher have to be petty to a and child? Then, and then she called my mum and was like, she missed the lesson. I was like to my mum, we looked eyeball to eyeball. Mm-hmm. Ask her where I was because we had a conversation. So I went to her lesson the next day and was like, if you're going to call my mum, that's great. But can I at least get the work then? Because mm-hmm. you're going to fail me because you didn't give me the work. But yeah, I was balancing all of that at the same time. And then the last day of school, um, last day of uh, results day. She was like, oh, well done. Like, she was almost shocked that I passed. And I was like... That sounds hate. like hate to I me. Said, it's hate. But I said, that's got nothing to do with you because you barely even taught me this year because you just had hate on your heart. Right. Yeah. Like, I did well because I'm smart. And it wasn't that tough of a course. But like, how dare you? How dare you dare me? She also tried to give me really bad predicted grades. Damn. And I was like, why are you being such a hater? Up. Mm. Like, someone else gave me really good predicted grades. I was like, you're just a special babe. I hear that. I won't cuss you. <laughs> Leave that's that's the radio training right now. Mm. <laughs> I leave you to so God. So, so after the nine ten weeks, you get off of the show, Henry's show. No, I get offered the chance to work on a show. Work on a show. So what, like production? So it's production or like team assistant. It's not quite like presenting. You might be on air now and again, but the likelihood is really is really slim. It's to assist Henry's show, and make Henry's show the best it can be. Okay. So that was what I was doing for about a year, a year and a bit, and it was like what year thirteen I was doing that, and then I took about two, three months out just to finish my exams. So I could do, just finish my A-levels, be completely focused. Then I got into uni, but I made sure I applied for uni the next year. So I was like to my mum, oh, I really want to take a gap year. And she was like, I don't think you want to. And I was like, no, no, I'm, <laughs> I, I really want to. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, I'm, she's like, I'm not sure if you really want to. She, went like, she was like, I don't know if Oxford would really like if you took a gap year. And I was like, oh, it's a real shame because I'm just going to apply for the third entry. That's what I did. I applied for the third entry. I remember that September, she was like, oh, you're preparing for uni? I was like, yeah, I prepare for it next year because that's when it starts. And yeah, that was a, a nice year out. I was just working loads and like <laughs> building up portfolio and stuff. I was a bit of a nuisance in the house. It was really funny. Like that conversation, you have to say it in passing as well. You can't sit her down. You just have to say it as you're walking out the house. Sometimes you have to bypass your parents if, in order to chase what you want to chase. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I tried that. <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> but the problem is, Florian, I always say this, yeah. If you want to do this and you're like young and Nigerian, you need to start disappointing your parents as soon as you can. Yeah. So like, go and get your nose pierced, go and get that tattoo. Like, go and make sure hey, you hey, do hey, that, hey, yeah. Yo, hey, yo. Uh, as big, soon big as bro you still can. in the room, I chill out, man. No, do it as, nah, as soon let, as you let, can. Let, yeah. Let get shit off. Because now when you say, I don't want to go to uni, they already think, oh, that's it. You really had the gateway drug. The tattoo, the tattoo means I'll that you send you to tattoo. Nigeria, first <laughs> class. Best <laughs> class. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. But I think what you benefit from as well, in my opinion, is 100%. your parents, so they've mellowed out, they've yeah. chilled out, mm. they've acclimatized, hopefully, a lot more to the Western world and stuff. Um, and there's some traits where I think we, we should keep. I'm not, I'm not mad at that, but it's finding a balance. So mm. I think I, I see her, how you interact. You can call my mum by her first name and joke and like, I wasn't yeah. certain I would ever have attempted. Call her babe all the time. Yeah, right? like, I call my mum babes. Yeah, I call her hey, babes, babes all like her first name. But she's also a last born as well. So I think that's where, yeah. when I, because I just, I just, I just sit down from and just observe them. I'm like, you two are nuts. That's why we argue so much sometimes. And it's just not just arguments because it's like the same, the same person arguing. Mm. Yeah. They're just, they're just mirroring each other in it. So, so yeah. So you take the, you take the few months out to focus on the A levels. You finish, cool. The third entry with uni, we have the year out. What's that year like in regards to progression within radio and stuff? I was like fully immersing myself in radio. Like I was like represent close to every single day. I was volunteering. I was doing a lot of the playlists I represent. Like there's a team that works behind it and I was part of like spearheading the team that was doing it. It was me, one other guy. And I think Scully might have been on it at the time as well. Shout out Scully. Or he left before, I can't remember. And I was like applying for other just like media work yeah and i was trying to do the thing where a lot of presenters especially young presenters they're like i need to get a music nine to five and then also do presenting and i thought that would be the way i'm kind of glad i didn't do it because i think i would have hated it i was still like working on the side as well but honestly like any opportunity to do anything like oh you want to film something of course i worked on so many projects like at a point like i just did so many jobs with nike it was ridiculous 
It's like, yeah, I can edit that. That's that's great. I can, oh, audio production, I can do that as well. Like, oh yeah, I can do that. Like, the visuals for this is great. Like, mm. honestly, anything you'd have given me at the time, I'd be like, yep, cool, no problem. I'll do it, I'll do it. And a lot of the time I wasn't getting paid for, for certain things. Unless there's a massive budget behind it, I wasn't getting paid. Mm. But was that a good um, space for you to learn and like learn on a job? Obviously with, yeah. like, because I think as we acquire more information, of course you should be paid for your work, but there are times when an opportunity might present itself. You might not have money attached to it, but the opportunity itself is too great to turn down. You have to ask yourself how you're going to get paid in this exposure. I feel like we always talk about getting paid in exposure being a bad thing. And the thing is, for the most part it is, but how will it benefit you? So like, I'd rather be paid in exposure from a smaller company because you can actually utilize the content that's been created. Right. So if you've worked on something, you can actually ask for it. Or you can watermark it. You can do things to it. If a massive brand has asked you to work on something and there's no money behind it, you actually can't get anything from it. They will just start airing your emails. Because <laughs> they've got the work. You basically said, yeah, I'll volunteer for this. And they're like, oh, great, free labor. Now you're asking, oh, can I get this, get this, get that? If you haven't made any real relationships on that team, yeah, they will just ignore you because they're so busy. Like yeah. It's not even like them being pricks. They're just kind of really, really busy. So this one person that did that free work and now you want the content. Oh, come on, you should have got it the first day you shot. Like, that's on yeah. you. So you can get paid in exposure, but you have to think about what it will do for you. If you have to question it, then don't do it. Mm. Yeah. So what was the the turning point for you to go from doing doing these, like, these, these unpaid jobs, exposure work, working behind the scenes on Henry's show, playlist stuff? What was the turning point in the transition where you now became someone that was on air regularly? So during that time, I still knew I wanted to be a presenter. So everything I was doing, it was for me to be able to um, produce and present for myself. Yeah. So I demoed a bit and then I did like two or three demos and I presented a massive reshuffle in terms of like the scheduling and it just gave me a show. So like I'd been, like, I've been doing so much work for them. I think they could see that I'm ready to really take part in things. I've been demoing. I sound really good on air now. I've done a, co- a couple cover shows. I'm good to go. So when yeah. the schedule came out, put me on the schedule and I was like, yeah. Mm. Some people were like, I can't believe she's on the schedule. Blah, blah, I'm thinking, bitch. Like, hey, can we ever talk about... Okay. <laughs> there were bit, no, so, there's one guy. Yeah. Go on, talk, talk your shit. Nah, like, this is... This is um, Solo about the PR training, yeah? Firstly, fuck him. Because, yeah... Hey, hey. No, it was I, crazy. That's, that's that North Dulwich coming at no, you. That's, so <laughs> <laughs> how can you hit him with a middle class fuck no, you? No, like, yeah, fuck, the, 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 nigga, the, the fuck, fuck you. Him, fuck you. We weren't even convincing. No, like, <laughs> I don't really swear. That's why it doesn't sound real. Yeah. Um, he's just like, oh, you got a weekly show? And I was like, yeah, like... Because I was meant to be alternating with him. But um, he got moved to another day. I got moved to a Tuesday... And he, then he realised his show was bi-weekly. So he was like, oh, I'm every other week. And I was like, oh, <sighs> the fuck that must do with me? Like, oh, I don't care. Um, then he was like, I, so it's so weak. I, I literally like, where did you even come from? Like, I feel like you, we never really saw you. Now we see you all the time. And Now you did see me. When the hate like, don't work, they no, start but, telling lies. No, but this lies. pissed me off because by this point, I'd really started doing shifts at Represent. So I was working quite frequently. And I was working on the days he had his show. I was always in a room and he had interviews. I was recording his footage. You didn't see me. Who are you lying to? Mm. I told you. As you were emailing, and I'm the one on the production email being like, yep, artwork all done, sent, sent over to you. Oh, here's your footage from your show. Oh, I don't know where you came from. Who are you lying to? Nigga, please. Like, I, we literally saw each other every single like week. Bitch. Hater. Absolute bitch. No, yeah. you're, you're swelling me. It's, 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 you reach capacity. I heard nigga, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> that. <laughs> no, I just, so I think about it, I'm just like, Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hater. And where's that person now? Exactly. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Okay. That's, there that's you go. You yeah. But we can stay on the positive. No, vibration. the positivity of it is like I was still really happy to have my show. Yeah. And I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the show and I'm gonna go full force of it. Yeah. Like I've learned so much from working on Henry's show. Like I've literally got I've got all the tricks and stuff and like Henry's kind of opened the door for me. So let me just like run through the store. I guess I did it, like, the best way I could anyway. And I want to understand, what are some of the biggest um, moments or things, brands you work with in this time period? So now you're on air, what's some of the, like, the bigger like, accolades and achievements? Do you know, my biggest moment at that time was when I got to interview Pop Smoke. Yeah. Because I wasn't even I that remember deep. that. I wasn't even that deep in the game. Like, I was truly only doing my show for about half a year. Yeah. So the fact that I got a chance to interview him, I was like... 
you lot were had similar journeys. He this was his first like introduction. So his first time in the UK. Do you know what I mean? Like so yeah. he was new to something as well as you were. Yeah. yeah. And it was like honestly watching that interview back in ra- every now and again, people were like, Oh, so great. I'm like, I wish I had a chance to interview him later in my career because it would have been a much better interview. Right. But at the time it was very like yeah, so uh, what do you like? Uh, uh, what do you like? And this is like, like yeah, I mean, it's really the interview's really sweet. It's he, quite cute. He was he he had two songs to his name at that point, or two oh, like he just, released, yeah, yeah. he just released his EP or his album at that time. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Just then he was doing a show in London, and then he did a show in Birmingham as well. So like, it was literally. He had Welcome to the Party, Dior. He had a few songs, but like those are the ones that had really connected. Yeah. yeah. Like we were literally meeting him as the songs were popping in the clubs. They managed to book him early, and shout out to Promoter, I got him early because. For a lot of people, that was the one and only time they got to see him. Because sure of, yeah. and he, he, he that crazy. show in London was so good. Sure yeah. looked crazy. Like so. He got babes on stage, everyone was shaking ass. Fantastic night. <laughs> They're not serious. I hear it. So Pop Smoke was a big, big moment for you. Yeah. Um, any any others? At that time, I think whilst I'm still on rep, so I haven't even gone to No Signal yet. Okay. It's still, it's still mainly Pop Smoke. I had other like really big interviews and stuff, but that was the standout one for me. Mm. Because it was one that I was like, do you know what, I could really do this. Like, I do say the interview wasn't great, but that's with hindsight. At the time, it actually wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's like, wow, like. Part of your journey, though. Yeah. And it's like um, an introduction to, you know, other people that may not have known about you. But, mm-hmm. like, just in the algorithm or, like, you know, um, search engine and stuff, mm-hmm. people type in pop, pop Smoke or Pop Smoke London and your interview would, would appear. And it's so funny because every, like, month or so a random fan page from pop smoke will repost right. the interaction and it's a new bunch of like oh where can we see the full thing and it's so fun because like, after the interview the team were like yeah that's the most relaxed he was of all the interviews really like, see like, oh really like, thank you so much. he told me i look like i'm from the town and it really feeds <laughs> what i think in real life i'm a new yorker so see. him being like you're yeah. from the town i'm like yes i am from the bronx someone does from abekuta it's all said talking <laughs> rubbish bro from the Bronx. <laughs> From the Bronx. That's dope, man. Um, so we can fast forward a little bit. So you're on represent. I like to say things are going well. Your profile is building. Mm-hmm. You're getting more comfortable on radio. Um, lockdown hits. <sighs> what a time. No that signal. Tough. That was really, you know, the first part of lockdown was really tough because I was like, I'm only just starting to get momentum. I'm not one of these presenters that could be like out of work for months without it affecting me like I need I need to be booked and busy I'm still DJing at this point as well quite frequently so I can get more money so like how am I going to do this they're not like brands aren't going to ask me to do their Instagram takeovers they're going to ask well Bruce they're going to ask my jammer they're going to ask these bigger dons because it makes more sense of mm-hmm. course yeah so I'm like how, how am I going to do this and then the beautiful no signal like that appears out yeah. of literally nowhere and I think who is it Scully asked me to do 10v10 that infamous 10v10 the infamous 10v10 yeah. and you know what yeah 10v10. even after all of that i will say this right now for a period of time they were calling me the sacrificial lamb they were <laughs> saying yeah i literally helped build no i did the streets know mm-hmm. yeah you might have flogged me but you listen to no, the next no, crash. But, but refer to give the give the, the listeners a proper reference point. I don't know. Why if I were to. you a okay, sacrificial okay. lamb? All right, so it was ten v ten. J Haas versus Kojo Fund. Yeah, yeah. I still get cold cold cheeks about this one. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just I played a really bad choice. That's all. Like I messed up. I thought I had a chance to change it. I wasn't really thinking. I you, let, you let all your yuppie mates. You let, them, you let all of them convince you. No, and you mentioned you should have come to Big Bro, and I would have given you the official street anthems, no. the gutter tunes for you to play. No, it was just me being like, I'm trying to capitalize off the fact that everyone's talking about French Montana already. I was like, that's just not really smart. That's like, that's not the point of this. I wasn't thinking very much, and then I remember halfway through it. Yeah, I'm, I messaged Joe, and I was like, I tap out. I don't want to do this. I can't. I can't. He was like, Are you sure you want to tap out? I was like, No, Joe, I can't do this anymore. And they're like, No, you'll be fine, man. Like, you'll be fine. You can do it. And I did. And because you you was representing J Huss and you lost to Kojo Funds. Yeah. Now in the real world, musically, J Huss does not lose to Kojo Funds. Do you know what? Though. Yeah. Kojo Funds could have a strong ten. No, he could. He definitely do you know what I'm saying. Is, we're not we're not, we're not we're not like trying to do that, yeah. But when you have J Huss here 
And I think you, you had common sense to just dabble with, first and foremost, yeah. Did, was Big Conspiracy out? No, when we, you know, we had Big Spank. Big Spank. Right. Oh, I think mean, oh, that's that right. That well. like, you had a Big Spank and you still got it. And I was like... Yeah, no. Nah, I mean, some, some, the, some of your the, decisions... The is it 15th? The 15th? Or what's the, what's the first tape? That's yeah, got, um, I think it's the 15th. Yeah. The song so with like, Bass Man on there, Docky Docks, all those songs. So you got there was, there's a couple of songs on there. And the thing is, yeah, once I hit the third track, I was like, I actually haven't got enough songs to go through. So I'm out here trying to play it safe for the first two. But being like, because I actually, when everyone started losing like faith in me, it was the second round, was the feature. That's when everyone was like, <laughs> yes. no, no, that's when everyone was like, no, get this guy out of here. Yeah, someone said she's going to wake up as um, an iPhone charger. And I said, God forbid. Ah. What, I said, what kind of no, nonsense? I've, I've, I've always said I have saved a few acts. Like, like no, some mm. people were crazy, but... That there was there was a couple of, I was like that's kind of funny like yeah, that yeah run, that's not yeah. too deep some people were taking it too far and I was like ew like it's not fun keep yeah. it cute yeah. you know what I mean keep it cute mm. I think it's um obviously I never did one yeah but I can imagine like being put on the spot yeah knowing that you know half of or all of Black Twitter were tuned in mm. it kind of sways your decision making a little bit but do you know what I'm saying yeah. one second Chris if it's um you can charge it and switch it off it will charge us it's off. Yeah, so just do that. So it's off right now, yeah? Cool. No problem. The thing is, yeah, I think one thing you should never do, and I learned that after about my third or fourth 10 v 10, is don't read the T out. Don't yeah. do it. So I've done... No, I need a confirmation bias, man. No. When I was doing what, I was reading, I was, I was just searching the hashtag. No, I'm telling like, you right yeah, now. Foes is cooking. No, people, people are liars. So I did, I think in total I did about three or four. For the most part, I was hosting them. Which I really enjoyed. That's when I was like, okay. I prefer to host them. Just yeah, let me go on the yeah. other side of the mic. Yeah. And I did. So I did. Oh, you was doing the Steve Harvey thing. Oh, Kings of Comedy, but I'll do the hosting. No, whilst, please. Whilst these man do the jokes. <laughs> no, please. It's, it's not for me. So I did Huss and Kojo. I did City Girls and Megan Thee Stallion. And that's when I realized you should not check the TL. So there was one girl that was at in the whole time, like, yeah, episode is killing it, blah, blah. JT locks in. Then she's like, this girl's embarrassing us. JT's locked in. I'm like, so I screenshot. I said, no, no. Seconds ago, as in it said nine seconds, the tweet was tweeted. Nine seconds. Hey. Why are you lying? And JT's locked in saying, I'm doing a great job. Now you're pandering seagulls, but they're on my side. Who, who are you performing for right now? I you mean, know? do you know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. And loser. also, with music being subjective, sometimes your timeline will shag you. It will go to the people that don't know what they're saying yeah. and they're gassing you up. So you're thinking that you're doing a great job when in reality. Is, I almost won that one if it wasn't for the tiebreaker. I mean, Almost is uh, it was a tie- no. It was literally the tiebreaker. I said almost is something. No, sorry, it was a tiebreaker. And the last one, I was I was destined to lose that one because it was Nikki versus her sons. So it's basically the Barb's versus everyone else. Who's gonna win that? Oh, because you, 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 you set one. it up for the content, but yeah, yeah, yeah it's okay. like it was I, it was me versus IVD. So like, but I went in there and I, and I, and I avenged the loss with the family name and stuff. Yeah, yeah. To bring it back to me for people, a second. People did say that, and I was like, "You bitches, shut up!" Because I hosted. What did you do? Gigs guys. and gigs versus nines. It was me. Um, mm. I was representing gigs. Alex Bass was representing nines. And mm. I was so glad that you watched Alex Bass. That's yeah. what made me happy. Because yeah. how dare he dare me? Do you know what I mean? Like, why would you do that to me? Yeah, you should yeah. have asked him to reload it. No, I love him though because he really? apologized. Right. Yeah. My, he's my guy. What am I saying? He texted me. I'm sorry, bro. That probably was oh. cool, man. <laughs> but he's like, just did it because obviously when like, hey, nah, that's, that's Alex, one thing is like even no matter how calm and cool collected you are, yeah. When you're seeing people teach something crazy about someone you love, I'm like, I could crush everybody it's right hard. now. No, but the thing is that well, you night- you can't beat yeah. up everybody. No, but yeah. the thing is that night, I think everyone was like, keep it cute. If it's not banter, then it's like, relax. Yeah, yeah relax. Yeah, so yeah, of course. there was some people that were like, no, no. Like, and also people was like, oh, I didn't realise Basola was so young. So at that time I was like 19, 20. Yeah. So I was like, like, relax. Like it's, she's doing a lot hey, more than you're doing. The pandemic fucked you teenagers up, innit? Yeah. Oh. Really did. I felt sorry for them. Yeah, man. I really did, man. Because like, I still feel like I'm 21. I'm 23, but I still feel like I'm 21. <laughs> I, 23. I, remember, I remember when I was 23. <laughs> Many yeah, moons ago, right. bro. Many moons. So, listen, you better enjoy this time period, you know. No, I, I, so far, I'm loving being 23. Like, yeah, I turned 23 the other day, man. Yeah, and you so love being happened. 33, man. But you know so much has happened. I'm like, I love Look, Age is a beautiful thing, yeah. but yeah. lack of responsibility. Enjoy youth. I stay, listen, <laughs> when we load you... Stay, stay at there. home. Don't leave. Don't, don't go. Run, st- There's nothing at the bills. I'm not running away from anything. So yeah, stay at good. home. Yeah. Because if I could go back <laughs> right now and trade in these bills, yeah. <sighs> it's rough, man. It's rough. So yeah, we 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 touched a little bit on the the no signal clashes, which was NS10 v10 was a big thing during lockdown. Yeah. So lockdown happens, you get to no signal, you're getting another creative outlet with the with the clashes, hosting, doing stuff on there. How were you able to still 
even though obviously I put your business out by saying being at home, still like in inverted commas, keep the lights on, still bring money in, still chase your dream, your passion, whilst we're in this middle of this like worldwide pandemic? Um, I got a job again during that time, I'm pretty sure. I started working somewhere. I was doing some like TV stuff during the time. Okay. Like they were asking for like showrunners, but it was still working from home. So it was a chance for me to do stuff that I couldn't do because I was driving license at the time. Yeah. Um, so like showrunning stuff, but from like, the comfort of your own home. And then I get a week uh, daily show at No Signal. Right. And then just No Signal had tons of like brand partnerships and stuff, which was like, oh, I can get paid again. This is fantastic. So yeah, me and Ori are doing a daily show. And that just took up so much of our time. And that was mainly how we were paying these bills. Mm. Like tons of brand partnerships at the time. Kind of mama still on you to bring um offering to church and that. Bring that 10%, 10%. Yeah. Amen, man, yeah. for real. <laughs> so let me just say amen, man. Amen, amen. for real. <laughs> amen for real is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Amen for real, you know. Hey, run the 10%, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got to pay the mafia. What do you think this is, man? <laughs> you got to rent up the Caesar, really, so run the readies, man. Run the readies. Yeah, so we then get out of lockdown, essentially. Mm-hmm. The world is opening up again. What are the next steps? What are the next moves? How, what does that look like for you when, you know, we're coming out of the pandemic and you're allowed to be back outside, we're allowed to be around each other more, you can actually be in these offices, these spaces, physically? I'm very much outside again. Like, just DJing all yeah. the time now. The fact that I'm back outside, I'm like, how do I get on all these bills again? Because I think I was hitting a point where I was getting booked more, but I wasn't booked enough pre-pandemic for people to remember who I was okay. pandemic yeah. I wasn't doing Instagram lives. I didn't have equipment. So I'm like, how the hell am I going to do this again? So it meant that radio, I was taking that, like, I'm still taking it super seriously. But at that time I was like, I guess every single show, I need to like post content almost every single day. Like, have you got a booking for me? I'll DJ this weekend. I'll do it. And I was working in film and TV again, but I was back in like actually on set and in the office and stuff. So I'm trying to literally balance in like four or five things at once. And I just made it work. I was like, I have to, because what am I going to do? Like, these bills need to be paid, so I need to make this money. But also, I need to be able to like still like chase my dream. So you'll find time. And I'm young as well. Like, what am I gonna do? Mm. I haven't mm. got tons of responsibilities. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, you've got n- nothing but time and energy. Yeah, like you will find time to do it. Yeah. And I found that time. Mm. Wasn't sleeping much either. Fair. Mom did tell me still. Yeah. She's, she's working so hard. Yeah. <laughs> mom, did, my mom didn't think I had like a real job. So when I go to work, I go to work in like Crocs and like. A headscarf or something if my hair's not done. And she's mm. just like, What kind of job is this? She was like, Oh, you're going to the gym? And I was like, I'm Not even, I'm actually going to the office. And she's like, Can you take a pack lunch with you? Like, what? Like, where are you even going? <laughs> I, think the, I think the Crocs, when I had a full Adidas tracksuit on and the Crocs, she was very, very angry because she's like, Where are you going that's employing you to dress like this? Yeah. And I was like, Who even needs to wear a suit? What am I doing on set with a suit on? Bro, you could just wear jeans. Go into go into mm-hmm. ITV and like, just, so one second. Yeah, just like Hillary Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, all, just, just like, like Catherine <laughs> from Love Island. <laughs> Head to toe. No, so you're crazy. <laughs> no, no. She's out there dressed like Sharon Stone. Why Someone she, said she wants to get sponsored by Moss Bros. Yeah. <laughs> that? <laughs> nah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nah. Outrageous. <laughs> People are comedians, man. People are yeah. comedians. <sighs> yeah. Nah, it's jokes. No, but I'm happy you're here, you're, you're thriving, you're doing your thing, I always say, I love you and I'm proud of you. You are, you've entered another space now where you're throwing your own events, throwing own parties. Oh, mm. yeah. Ow. The Biz Bucks. Yeah. So, so you've got something coming, I'll let the people know um, where that is, what it's about, why your night is the night to be at. Okay, so the Solars is the newest night on town mm. and it's just a space yeah, to enjoy some of that ratchet goodness in the dance. I feel like, you hear pockets of it when you're outside, but like, I would like to hear City Girls for more than just two tracks. That's just, that's what we can do here. Fans so raise eyebrows like, have they got more than two tracks? They do. They literally do. because I, I know they do. Because <laughs> you'll be in the club do. and you're like, oh, like the girls are enjoying this. Yeah. It was clearly like. And they've got features respectfully, like, yeah, you know, um, with even like if they're together or individually, they, they're doing their thing at the moment. Yeah. Phones like, and that. There's things in there. So, that's what Basola says is a space to enjoy some of that good music. And we still play all genres and it's welcome to all genders. It's not just for the girls, even though I always say it's for the girls and the gays. Because the man them don't want to. 
Be listening to City Girls all night. No, They're liars. Like, be who you are, man. Because when I played... You were act Nicki, bad. No, when I played Nicki Minaj, I got... It's an act bad summer for the men, <laughs> no, I got, what, my first party, the amount of reloads I got, yeah, I was like, oh, so you guys really do enjoy this. Stop acting. My yeah, name on stage were throwing... I played super bass and I got reload. I said, that's ridiculous. Like, don't play with it, getting a reload makes sense. Super bass? Be who you are, man. Yeah. Be Like, be yourself. Yeah, the person that you are in your bedroom, be in the shubs as well. <laughs> no, but well, let's, let's be guided yeah. because, you know, there's, 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 still a, there's still a fine line. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. in terms of your music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Those because, songs you sing in the shower. Yeah, like, you, can enjoy yeah. you know the, the man them well. listen to mad alternative stuff, but they just would never admit it. Yeah. Keisha Cole. But that one, we, that one we, yeah, we, we listen out loud on that. No, no love. Fans, 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 fans love. love. No, no, love. No, 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 not that one. No, no, we don't listen oh, to that man. one. Oh, man, it's okay. Heal. <laughs> 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 you're doing bad PR for us right now. Where's the publicist? <laughs> she wrote it. I didn't. Like, no, we no, have, we have she love. Said she said about that one. No we one have love. We have Fantasia. We have like the Mandem song. That's why I should have cheated, you know. That's crazy. Sam, that's what she no, said. Nobody was talking about yeah. that and you yeah. told that. Everyone knows the same song we're talking about, but it's you. Yeah, oh, that's man. what I should have cheated. I know. changed my mind. <laughs> <laughs> that's another one. Yeah. Uh, she got some classics, you know. She <laughs> got, got some classics. So you, um, it's a safe space for the girls and the gays, essentially, yeah. but everyone's welcome. Everyone is welcome. We need man to buy bottles, so you guys are always welcome. But I think your generation, your age group, I don't know, like, they don't, I was, I was in the last one, I was looking around, I was like, oh, Poor girls, man. <laughs> no, to be fair, no, the girls admit that they they're running by shots. They don't buy bottles, buy shots. Yeah. Okay. So. Anyone, anyone in around your age, I'm, I'm, come on, man. Unless they're doing the mad, the two mad things, mm. the obvious things, air for trapping oh, and okay. that. The young, are they, are they really spunking money? Like oh, that? when the student loan first dropped, I know you niggas. <laughs> buy out the bar. <laughs> yeah. Student loan drop. Yeah, no, they're out here like buying shots and stuff. Shots will suffice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, no, no. I always say like, at least buy a goal like one shot. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Fuck you, you know? Like, what the hell? You lot don't recognise the cost of living crisis out here. There isn't yeah. one. So they spend live. money like drug dealers, bro. They probably are. I mean, when the man am I buying you drinks? Do you know what I mean? What do you mean? Like, they can save their money, bro. Like, drink, drinks are going up as well in price. Yeah, it's very true. It's true. Like, it's not one of them ones where you can get... Like, when you find um, a place... That the drinks are relatively cheap, you want to cling on to that. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. You flock there. I'm so happy the West End era left us. <laughs> yeah, it's done now, man. That's the best thing that's ever happened to us. Us moving away from West End Very as a community. From the colorism, from the cost, yeah. just the oval treatment. Because so, yeah. if you were still in there in 2023, I've been in Proud Embankment and I never want to go there again. Okay. Just yeah, for their, their drink prices. Like, I've got ever for a party in there. Mm. So when's the, when's the party? Party's next week, Friday, seventh mm. of July. It's okay. a wireless after party. Okay, because I'm doing wireless on that day. Yeah. Shouts to you! Come bah, on. Bah, bah, bah. Oh, maybe yeah. not. Okay. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> like. There's no more pod, bro. Give my sisters some horns, bro. Let's figure it out, bro. Right, it in, <laughs> <laughs> Congrats! So you're playing wireless. Yeah, I'm doing Casa Bacardi stage. Okay. I'm really excited for that. I'm on at 5 p.m. Okay. So good time. Yeah. Good time. And I was really happy because the curfew is like 10, 10 p.m. pretty short this time. Yeah. Okay. So I'm on at a really good time. Then we're gonna whiz back to Peckham, Peckham Audio for Basolas. So what? You you're not even gonna um, stick around for the headliner? I think the headliner that day is Carty. Playboy Carty. Yeah, it's either okay. Carty or I might have made this up or Yeet. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it's like the. <laughs> this is when I realized, yeah, that like, yeah, I'm tapped out. Some stuff you're not, you're not, you're meant, not meant to know who Yeet is. And this person's headlining. I think I might be, I might be stretching it, but I feel I like Yeet is headlining. Goodness, I thought I, thought, I, too, I did, I did, I do remember um, my group chat speaking about Playboy Carty um, headlining because I didn't understand. Oh, that's a, that makes sense. Do you know what I'm saying? But I realized that in his scope, that's outside of mine, he's huge. I oh, know. Playboy Carty headlining is... Yeah. Makes complete sense. That's... You wouldn't it's put Uzi. Around. It's Uzi and... Um, I, I saw Uzi on the lineup, but he's not headlining. Yeah, and I and thought that he was bigger than that. Carty. Uzi's still recovering from the whiplash. But he's got the... Um, that TikTok rhythm. He might, not, he might not recover in time. And he's got a new album um, dropping on Friday. Okay. 
Oh, because you're tapped in, you know what's going on. Tim. Uh, be- just because that they're saying that either him or Fug will be the first hip hop artist to go number one in the Billboard charts this I'm year. I'm surprised oh. Gunna didn't go number one. Oh, this year. No, I'm not sure. Like he, he, he did better. Think about the allegations. He did. He did very well. The lack for, of support yeah. and the fact that you haven't got the like Fugs out and the whole like why so behind you and everyone you're affiliated to. Yeah, he did a lot. Trust me, because the label kind of shelved him. In they a just sense. they just threw it out. It's like okay. You still have an obligation. We're going to put music up, but you're not going to get the mass support yeah. from everyone. There's F. no features is, on there. If you mean is uh, predicted number one as a single, yeah, yeah. So I know he's, he's got the little kids in a in, on a hook. Yeah, yeah, better than yeah. The, the little duck oh, and J Cole. Yeah, I didn't love fake the, I positive. Didn't, I didn't, yeah, I, yeah, Nas, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can esque. Yeah, I didn't like the little. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> be what get I that be. bullshit! Like, don't bring that in the summer, bro. I want to see something else. Yeah. Not a bunch of kids singing on the hook. What are you trying to say? Fucking me. Yeah. I want to see kids saying that. That song is really good. <laughs> okay. That's wayward parents. Okay. Right that's that's, wayward. that's wayward. Sometimes when you hear me on a podcast, it's not me. This is AI, okay? <laughs> what? Thank you very much. It's not real. <laughs> okay. Fair. Yeah, so Carty's headlining yeah. that Friday. That's what I'm saying. All right. Yeats, the, the person before. Okay. okay. Right, and then I think it's Uzi before that. Okay, don't. Well, we'll be outside for that, man. Yeah. Um, you'll be back here. You, 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 you got work to do, you? You've got an event that night, so. Yeah. You got, you know. Back on the end. This is unofficial, official wireless after party that we're doing, yeah? No. Are you allowed to get away with that? Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're calling it the wireless after party. Wireless after party. Okay. Why not? It's a cover girl party. So we did video vixens last time. Okay. Now you come dressed as like your favorite album, mixtape, EP, magazine cover. I'm as a cover girl because yeah. you're that girl. You're her. This is when like I would usually get excited, but the age range. Hey, do you know he called? No, do you know what he called our party last time? A it? crash. Yeah, I was like, Pussy, please. But being in that space, that you are going to feel a bit, old. and you, if you, okay, I was be, like, don't be, look at me. It'll, like, it'll be, it'll sorry, be, it'll no, be worrying no, if don't. you don't feel old or a bit weirded out in that space. You'd want to know that like there are men in my generation that. Are aging appropriately, yeah. mm. and look at those your, your our little sisters in, in that space. Like, sure, come fair on. enough. No, I'm yeah. so glad that you have that. These young yeah. babes smiling at me. I'm not interested. Sorry, bye. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Just said okay. okay. Let me go and get. No, shots. You make it seem like it's super young, but it's not super young. It's just no. There like, are definitely of they're definitely like not, I think it's the like, middle of the road, like 27, 20. I asked some people that. No, no that, the uh, average age in that room was about 22, 23. But that's like the average age of black. Like, but that's not fresh. I was texting my brother like you should be here. <laughs> <laughs> How old's your brother? Twenty. Yeah, tell him to come up. Yeah, I'll tell him. Yeah, you should come up. Yeah. yeah. You said average age. What's recess? You said average age. Um, I'd say about twenty-two. Mm-hmm. Twenty-three. Do you guys eighteen plus ones anyway? Do you guys think that that's going to happen with us? That like we're going to slowly start transitioning a bit more to like different events, day parties. But no, we're saying we're already at day parties. But even with day parties, some of those are yeah twenty-one. So. At, we're obviously the other side of 30 we could be in an awesome that's 21 22 23 there's 25 Current. plus recess and like um, okay cool TLT is naturally like 25 plus yeah there yeah. was a party i saw that was 28 plus and someone said you guys really have to just get married now <laughs> because 28 plus is crazy <laughs> 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 know, 28 you see how the kids is, like no, speak to no, us <laughs> well, we were like that at just where everything everything at past certain ages looks super old 28 plus is crazy 25 what? plus isn't enough for you so guys. what 28 can't Go out. No, but having a 28 plus party. Because. What, like, because I'm, no, because I was on a boat and I sent to my friend and he was like, oh, I can't swim. I was like, you'll be fine. Like, there's clearly qualified doctors on this boat because they're all 28 plus. Like, can we? They've all. Ah. Can we what are you saying? Jesus. Doctors and lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> doctors, lawyers, like, these are qualified nah, people. Now, respect, nah, respect us. <laughs> wow. Wow. This is a slur. No, damn right. Because. This is expecting us to all be, um like, at the dance wearing linen and that. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you were wearing in deal too? Uh, you're saying dress like pudgy figures and that. That's not, that's, that's not bad drip still. That's not bad drip. You got to do that's the West London legend. You got to deal with that. I had linen shorts on. I had linen shorts on it one day. Mm. Mm? What's that? Do you know what? What? Okay. Yeah. Do you know what? Yeah, like I'm not even going to have like banter run on me yeah, when I'm using material that is great for this weather. Yeah, come on. It's hot. <laughs> No, I agree. Linen is yeah. fantastic. Fantabulous. In the sun. Go off, King. You need it, man. Mm. Come on, man. <laughs> I'm ready to double down with the extra linen. I'm no, ready, no, man. G- go ahead. Especially in this heat. It's going to be, I swear we've got, we've got like a heat wave coming up. Yeah, 40 degrees. 40 thing. Yeah, so um, 
That's crazy. Out of the lamb. See, your age group that run around in tech fits, we need to speak about them, man. You need to... Stink him. Stink oh, him. today, yeah. I know it's smelling there. <laughs> today, I was in the underground. It's crazy. It's so crazy. I was in the underground and I was going up escalators. This guy was going down. Like, I look over, then I look over again, like a double take. I'm like, he's wearing shorts, a short sleeve top and a belly. Ooh. Yeah. And I'm like, who are you possibly hiding from? Because we can see all of you. Why, like, why are you dressed like that? But you also use contactless, so they can just trace you. Like, so why you're really are you not being like, anonymous? Why are you dressed like but that? But the thing is, is that like I think that um, it's become a fashion on, thing. No, but smelling on public transport should be a crime, and the consequence should be jungle justice. <laughs> Normalize beating niggas up that smell. You stink. <laughs> okay. No, uh, if Van's had his way, was stoning guys that smell. But yeah. Do you know what? I hear. It. I agree. Mm. How hard are then? Because you can smell in the comfort of your own home. But when you step outside and you're in a confined space, yeah, like on public transport, you're offending everyone else's yeah. nostrils. Why is your odor my problem? Hmm? I don't want to flare my nose right now. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for you to make a, a Mario joke. How do, How do I breed? Yeah. <laughs> This is nah. <laughs> you, you made it before, so don't, don't start getting shy now, bro. You made it before, man. Don't, Everybody's don't. mad. I'm trying yeah. to ease him up since the versus win. Okay, he's got he's got mm. good PR right now. Yeah, you know. But um, I don't know what else I wanted to go to. Um, Did you guys what? watch any of the BET Awards? No, I've just seen the clips, yes. man. Yeah, it, I think it's the best. BET Fantastic. It was amazing. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm watching, so yeah, it was amazing and ratchet. Like, shout out to Tyler Perry, by the way. No, for since real, he bought like, honestly, he's taken him. over. Is that confirmed? Is he, oh, no, he's he taken yeah. over? He bought it from Viacom. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Long bread. It was just yeah, fantastic. He's, he's got too much money. Bread's long. But first of all, yeah, the women were on centre stage throughout that entire show. And like, I think that's the first time I've watched BET Awards where multiple um, female rappers had um, their own performance. Yeah. Like, Sick. not on a little side stage, the main stage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw, um, I, I saw Coyle Ray. I saw the outfit with all the ladies' yeah. names on it. Yeah. I saw a bit of Lato's performance. Yeah. Um, I think what they did as well, because they were celebrating guys. like 50 years of hip hop. Okay. They went to various different states that had cultural impact mm -hmm. um throughout the years yeah and obviously with obviously coila ray i think her performance was in uh, was in junction with um buster rhymes because buster rhymes, they were honoring him as well like with also the lifetime buster brought her out as well yeah yeah he brought out everyone that's done like samples, samples of his music yeah so, so obviously he's um she did players that's it because um i thought i'm um, that's i didn't watch i just saw the clip i thought he just um the he brought out a dance artist like because he wanted to I, that was I, even separate oh. to um no, he went that on a journey. particular set he but he went on a that's yeah. sick man it I was see, it was really he brought good. Out Dexter Daps he brought out a Spice yeah and Buster was trying to be respectful but I know he, Spice was throwing that thing in his direction yeah and Donny was was just trying to be composed and I was like I hear it, man. Spice is athletic yeah. no for real like, <laughs> like huh yeah yeah any like, given opportunity she will hit the split leg yeah, up it's true yeah I think it's a jumping it's the leg up jumping that yeah, gets spinning like, around. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's the one leg in the air and just jumping it for a bit. And yeah, like, I'm like, yeah, she's, she's her. She's her. Yeah, she is. She did that. Her. She did that, man. Yeah. Dexter sounded cold live from the clips I saw as well, so. He's still in that same white blazer from Mozart. I love him, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's never going to dress his uniform. Do you know what? Job. Like, I think that he's still recovering because he no sounded like he had a sore throat. No yeah. one had more fun in Mozart than Dexter Dapps. I thought he sounded I good from that. the clip I saw. Nah, do you know what? It was the that tune, yeah, would always bring the energy up by like three Canadian. levels. Yeah. Already, like from, mm. from the intro, and then he came out, he almost like gets a buzz every time he has to perform that song. Yeah. And it showed. And what Buster did like throughout the, the show, and obviously like he had this big speech. So big. Um he was like, Yeah, they've given me two two minutes and Eight he ended up being that. like 14 minutes long but what he was saying was like real do you know what i mean like i, I really appreciate what in some aspects yeah. about his journey and like being appreciative of like or what he had to do at the time when he got kicked out of his group um and then 
trying to become Buster Rhymes as an entity because when he was doing his medley, like you can almost just realize and appreciate how iconic he is. Yeah, bare hits. I didn't even know he was in the group before. Yeah, this is like what 90, 93, 94. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Him as Buster Rhymes. So, um, yeah, man, it w- it was dope. What else was a standout? Um, um, sexy Brooke. Red for me. Oh, I didn't see that one. Oh my gosh, the Sexy Red. <laughs> she was in the crowd, but they performed Pound Town, but she was in the crowd. The crowd. Oh, man. That's what I'm saying. Oh, what, what, like in between was like yeah, the Yeah, like, they're playing the music, yeah. yeah. She stood up, she had her racks on her hand, like she always does. Like, she's real hood, like. Yeah. She's a real ratchet hood bitch that didn't, it's not a joke. Like, this yeah. is their life. And some bishops that were there as well were like sat a couple rows next oh. to them. And they were just sat there just watching like, she's literally, and then Chris Rock comes in like, gives her a little wine and stuff. Everyone's like, this is so ratchet. Like it's, Cash Doll's hyping her up like in the corner. It's. <sighs> Cash Doll was looking sensational with her short Sin- king. Chill out. <laughs> I see, I see Vans' tweet. He's not serious. He's like, oh, um, Cash Doll's here with, um. <laughs> Justin Combs. Because I'm not a Walmart Justin Combs. Bro, that's Tracy T, bro. That's my fucking respect, bro. <laughs> no, I was going to say, it wasn't actually Justin Combs. <laughs> Tracy T, nah. bro. That's my respect. Oh, I, 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 I know okay, it was. No, I, I, really, I, no I, know, I know he's been his beautiful. He's been in his funny bag lately. No, I wasn't. It no, was because funny. she wasn't joking. She was being I really thought it was Christine Combs. I was like, oh. No, not Justin. even Justin. Okay. Yeah, Justin. Justin. Sorry. Wow. No, not even Christine. Yeah, Justin. Yeah, Justin. I got the wrong one. It's Tracy T. I, I, I appreciate I a tall queen like Cash, though, that is honoring her man. He's not the same height as her. She's wearing heels. She bent down a little bit for the photo op. That was to, cute. You know, which is wonderful, isn't it? And yeah. She yeah. did that. Yeah. that what a good woman. Up. Wonderful woman, you know, so. Yeah. I really liked Slowly Brooks' performance. She said, do you know what? I have two minutes on this stage. Mm. And yeah, they gave it a do? little. Oh! Sorry. Do you know Don't. what I'm going to do? <laughs> I will, I will I say, yeah, that so interrupting funny. you is crazy, yeah, but. The way you responded to the interruption, <laughs> yeah. If you were someone else, yeah, I swear to God. Right, I'm so. not. What again? <laughs> and what again? And what again? And what again? You watched Love Island a couple of seasons ago when Yoande was at. Mm? Mm? Which one was Yoande? The black girl. Oh, the black Irish girl. This, um, yeah, yeah. This one just. With the, excuse me? Hmm? Did you swear to me this one? Oh, we're just talking about yeah, you're not too, you're yeah, like, yeah. nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Drink your drink and say what you're saying. Yeah. First of all, both of you need to act like you've been here before. I mean, don't start acting almost crazy. Episode four hundred. It's not nah. our pod again. Yeah, it's not our pod. Oh, so nah. Can you face your pod, please? <laughs> <laughs> F- can you face your questions? You know what, yeah. Do you know what? Carry on. That's the same. But yeah, you and she interrupt this guy that speak to her. She's like, because why didn't you give me? But it was perfect. Yeah, so Lola Brooks, she performed. Can, yeah, it was fantastic. She had the two minutes, and she said, "Do you know what I'm going to do? You're going to see me." She was just shaking that little thing, just up and down the stage. The the vocals were good. Like, she just... Everything... Wow. Tiana Taylor is her coach. I, I can see it. Yeah, no, it so she did her her Def Jam or, like, the Summer Jam thing they do with Hot Yeah, yeah, they've okay. done the Summer Jam. Yeah, um, so she coached her for that and that was the same performance she did for... The Tiana Taylor's been coaching um, a girls. lot of the girls, like... Um, she used to meet she Ice did. Spice really soon. Yuck. That's a prayer. Yuck, Ice yuck. Spice had a huge performance. Like, they gave her... They had a lot of money behind that. Yeah, she's she's a big deal on her label. Yeah. Making them like, a lot of money. I hate it all, to be honest with you. What, um, the, the, her coach and the girls thing. T.I., so. why? It's, it's dead, bro. Do you know what? Are you, are you lying <laughs> or are you being serious? I'm, I'm being dead serious. She's, she's meant to be on stage. She's not meant to be doing yes. it. It's dead, bro. It's not. It's, Do this, you know this, what? This isn't a win. This, oh my God, Tiana needs to be coaching the girls. No, this is dead, bro. No, she's, but a like, ca- she's a casualty of war. She should still be. And uh, like all this, oh my God, I don't want to live. No. If she was signed to someone else, not this egomaniac Kanye West, she'd still be releasing music. Okay, yes, you know that's what? the point. I'm but with you. We've we've got a win out of a shit However, situation. Yeah, she's yeah. not. Why so, are you know? Why are the girls no, getting great performances not, and no, you guys it's not, are it's not, hyping not, up? I'm, like, my de- my default is just that. It's only purely because I want you know to get on stage. Do you know not, what? Like, if you if you give me give me a chance to even give her a bit more, it's cold. What she did for Lato on her stage is amazing, mm. but it's all tinged for me with a bit of sadness. Like, that's not what she's meant to be doing. But oh, you I'm say not, I'm not, the artist's uh, production has been the same. Like, she's been doing this before, while she was making music. So it's just she's doing it more now. That's all it was. Auntie's production has been making and helping artists absolutely. for close to a decade my, now. My one consistent That's point all. is she's meant to be on stage. The reason why we're getting more of this is because she is not currently a recording active artist because, yeah. in my opinion, <clears throat> of how poorly she was handled with good music. If she if that had gone better, she wouldn't be doing this to this magnitude. Yeah. The production company would still probably be doing it. She'd be doing it alongside what she does, but it wouldn't be this at this volume, in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, and do you know what? Because 
the R and B, the new R and B scene in the US is thriving, especially as far as the women are concerned. Mm. She feels like she should be in a bigger position than she is, and that's where the frustration lies in regards to the creative differences that she may have had when at Good Music. Mm. So that's what prompted her decision to be like, you know what, I'm calling this quits because I'm not getting the support that I need and I'm not being listened to and I'm still having to do these small tours, free albums in. She was at her album listening party and hearing new compositions of her music the same time period okay. that everybody else in the room was. So I'm not hearing all this stuff, oh my God, I want to do this. It's not what she wants to do. She's just rolling with the. She's rolling. No, but with I the think she still did want because she's always wanting to do it. Yeah. If, when you watch her reality show with her and Aman, like the artist production, she always wanted to get bigger so she can still help other artists. She did say like when she was in her deal when she knew it was a bit shit, she didn't want anyone else to go through that. She wanted everyone to have a chance to perform and be yeah, great. Of course. But I think she still wanted a chance to do it. And that's yeah. What, I, I hear mean, you in that point, but I still <laughs> think it is a win for the girls. I think yeah, no, no absolutely, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not, absolutely. Okay, what girls, she's just, doing, she's sorry. doing a phenomenal job in terms of like developing these girls because. When I watch the BET Awards, um, the recap, and I'm looking at all of these performances, I'm like, this is something that is taking time to do. And these girls are like, are like a glow realer. Like, she's been around for a couple of years, but she's relatively new, especially like from a live performance space. Mm -hmm. And what they're doing now, like they're, she's kind of automatically setting the bar yeah. to like really get out there and perform well. And, um, I, I, I'm totally with you, man. Like, because she's just like, I'm not about to be on this level at album free, at good music. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, she's, I'm not having it. So she's gone into directing. She's directing all of these videos as well. Like, she won the award as director of the year. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, she's just found an alternative purpose. She's always been a creative. Like I know, I knew about um, she was getting Tiana to a, Taylor a when she was at back in Star Trek, yeah. when she was with Pharrell and them, man. Yeah. I never knew what she did really, but she was always kind of like in the mix. So if the music, she was always talented in music. Her first album for me on Good Music was the one, but then obviously the seven track thing that Kanye did, I think that's where like, it really irked her and she was dying to get out of it. And then she just ultimately, ultimately decided to, to retire. So, yeah. Um, I mean, all the guys that she's worked with kind of mishandled her. That's the same situation with Pharrell as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. There's always been something. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, history though. I'm not, I'm not here to, to press her about quitting her experiences or her experiences at the end of the day, but you know, she's channeling her creativity in a positive way. Yeah. yeah. Guys, I've got some hate to get off. Sounds, Sounds like, like hate, hate to, to me. me. Ah, yes. I am <laughs> sick of you raggedy bitches, which oh. is a gender neutral term, oh, by always. the way. No, no, no. I, no we bitches. have no, 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 heard no, no, raggedy no, bitches. No, no, no. Raggedy hey, bitches. Hey, raggedy hey, bitches. Gender neutral. Whoa, 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 Cecily. Hey, Cecily. Are you going to finish? Hey. Cecily. Cecily. Can I hey, hey, carry on? Right? Cecily's, Cecily's. That's crazy. These raggedy bitches, we have fucking heard. Whoa, they whoa. are ripping you out of the plastic. You are brand new. I don't oh, want to see it anymore. No, the videos, putting nylon bag in your head in the dance. Sorry, no, I was on your side. Now I'm not. No, because we have it. to. Because we no, have to. Because we're acting it. brand new. No, How I've will you know it. I'm acting no. brand new if I don't rip no. myself out of the plastic? Wait, I have so. had it. I've had it. <laughs> I've had it. Had it. yeah, with your same bags. <laughs> We've been ourselves out of plastic. No, but they're bags of life now. Like, it's kind of tough. Like, are you. In the dark, suffocated. That suffocating. Can't I've can't seen rip. videos of people like literally with the bag over their head waiting where, where, for the drop. What part of the world is this? It's in the Americas, of, of course. course. So you should be, shouldn't be surprised. No, no I'm still I'm waiting for it to come over here. Nah, please. Rip me out of the I mean, that's a brand new doll. You need to. How would it, you know I'm acting brand new? How I've would you know? done it all. I feel like surely low. <laughs> I know, my issue is not with the song. Yeah. The song slaps. Is this, a, is this an age thing? No, it's not, we, no we get older, no, we get a bit more conservative. No, nah, it's, it's ridiculous. Not. Inside them bags are nasty. Where what was in that bag? And you just got it on your head now, on your face. <laughs> the same blue bag you used to carry yam. Like, that's what I'm taking to the dance. Nah, that's <laughs> crazy. And I need everyone to know I'm actually by knee. No, nah, but it's Have not shame. even a good bag. <laughs> yeah. It's not even a like. It's not even a good bag to like, rip. But it needs to be a good enough bag for me to be able to rip it. If it's like a really heavy bag, I can't rip this. So just bring your light. Corner you lot are breaking your acrylics and that, like from trying, trying to, to rip up tough bag. plastic. Oh my god! <laughs> the thing is, I I will circle back to this if it 
hits the UK and I'll be like, yeah, I, I support the hate. But nothing surprises me with America. So it's just like, kind of is what it is. No, no, we don't if need I that, If I can single-handedly influence it. No, 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 no. <laughs> so like, we, don't, we don't need the Americanization of us over oh, here. Oh, bitch. Oh, it's awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we don't need that, man. Any more hate over there? Young, no, I'm going to start with young people. Yeah, start young people. Also, yeah, I'm going to start dragging me. <laughs> start calling you big mommy. Honestly, you know it's age range. Sorry, I can't fight with them on the internet. I don't think we're that bad. What? I don't think we are. The babe that you told... You guys act like you guys were never young. The babe, the, the babe that told the guy, yeah, that I'm going to go eat quickly. No, but also, yeah. No, Mike, no. Miss, Miss, Mike, Mike. Sorry, because that all started because she said she didn't want to date guys that were like 28. She's 22. Fair enough. Why are you, you as a married man, why are you in a 22-year-old single girl's business? I agree. Don't push her to a point where she's now cussing your wife. Stop using... No, no, because instead of you to face your front, you're, you're what? That's, there's, 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 this is why I can't There's double entendre there, by, by the way. Face your front, double entendre. Can this don't, ask me, ask me you? don't ask me how. Don't ask me how. No, yeah. sorry. You're in your 30s. You're married. Why do you care if a 22 year old does not want to date a 29 year old? Oh, I agree wholeheartedly. So, of course. Was that I, what it was about? That's what it was yeah. about. That's how it started. Why are you like talking about her appearance? No, it got to that point. Because she was like, I've seen your wife. I'm going to eat real quick. <laughs> But you pushed her to anger. She didn't need to be pushed to anger. All nah, she said is, I don't want to date anyone. Nah, but, it's no, but guys, I'm going honestly, to eat yeah. real quick. Yeah, no, seriously. No, nah. nah, I'll be honest with you. Some, you know, I, 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 you know what I love smoke, bro. I love it. I, I don't care it. who it no, is. I loved yeah. it. I, like, I loved it. I, I followed her. I was like, this is hilarious. So do I follow her as well. She's so funny. I said, yes. And I love it. I even went to eat real quick. <laughs> so, well, just in yeah, case. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just came back and checked. <laughs> oh, mate. Yeah, nice. Don't play too much online because your your loved ones can... Get the residual smoke in it. Mm. So. Yeah, but also yeah. things like that, like that, just shows me that you're a bit of a creep. Because why are you dying for the right yeah, no, to date a 22 year old? That's a bit. Yeah, are you fighting for the right? You know, that's insane. <laughs> you can put that on my name. Fight though, it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> pod humor, pod humor. I know, I got it. Ha ha. Yeah. Were there any uh, any other standout performance in the BT Awards before we move on to something else? Um, stand out. Anything else you enjoyed? I enjoyed the uh, um, Lil Boosie was having the time of his life. So the Vito, um, at the Vito's um, performance yeah. was it was a good yeah. performance. It was, it was. I'm not a fan of um, unavailable, yeah. but you know it's it's huge. And yeah, he performed it well. Boosie was enjoying the whole crowd was enjoying. I enjoyed the ATL slash New Orleans medley with Jeezy, Ti, and uh, Master P. Um, I saw the clip of Chief Keef. Chief Keef, I found it hilarious. He, he, <laughs> he performed for Neo, yeah, and obviously they're bleeping that bare stuff, yeah. But Bro. the big way he says, I'm gonna shoot up New Jersey, yeah, they just left yeah, that in there. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, New wait, Jersey, wait, wait, yeah, bang, bang. <laughs> we'll brought New Jersey up. I looked at that performance, yeah, and bro, the beginning you couldn't hear what they were every, saying, every it was censored. Word. Beep, beep, beep. But I bitch, wonder why beep, they beep. chose to do to do that song wouldn't you be guided I, I thought that they would have done like either love so so or don't like yeah but don't like is even another one I can't lie to you that for me yeah, like for a classic that's a, yeah I, yeah sure, that, sure. Like, as, oh. as, as bad that's a, but it's so like, like <laughs> but obviously it's um, it's paying homage to what really brought that scene up and yeah. that was a huge that was no, one he's, of the he's ones the godfather that did it. of that thing still. Yeah, okay. so they 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 pay their homage to like New Chicago. Do you know what I mean? Like so um that was that was cool. I saw a clip of um Chief Keith and his whole crew pulling up. Yeah, I can't imagine. They're, the, all, they're, they're so full of smoke. Bait. Yeah, and the second guy that came out <laughs> He was no. looking around like he just discovered a new planet. <laughs> Seriously. No, he just came to Earth. Like he was like, just he couldn't believe his eyes. Bro, they opened up the the, the van yeah, right. and there was just mad smoke coming out of the and had a look at the Glastonbury performances because Glastonbury was over the, on the weekend. Yeah. A couple of the men were out there. Wizkid. Yeah. He um he had a big set. I don't, I'm, I'm, I think it was a headliner. I think yeah. he headlined one headlined of the days. Okay, Silver oh. Haze stage, pretty sure. Yeah, one. Yeah, so I mean, it wasn't the best set. I can't <laughs> lie, but you would you if you were there, you would have still have caught a vibe because mm. he's got he's got rhythms. Mm. But I just felt like he just seemed so small in that stage. I know he's, he's a small he's guy. It's not but good like, to watch back as an artist. Yeah, he's someone that you have to live. watch live. Yeah, like you have to. I think David O. Like 
controversial. I think he's actually a really good performer. I think Bad I think so too. Really mm, as yeah, well. I can watch them, but Whiskey doesn't give you much. He doesn't always have a live band. Like there's certain things you're just like, if I was there, I would vibe because it's great music. But I can't yeah. watch his back. I I did. His vocal was better though. <laughs> Oh, thank God. He's really been doing vocal training. He was giving us riffs and runs. I was like, okay, whiskey. It's like, really going for it. <laughs> I saw Crept and Conan. They performed. Do you... Speak your mind. When do, when, do, when do we know you not to speak your mind? <laughs> do you know what actually randomly came to me the other day? What's that? Your hair's longer than Crept's. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm a very big girl. <laughs> I tried to be guided. <laughs> you didn't very try. That's how Steph London guided us, man. Side, you thought I said, I'm going to say it. By my side, what? By my side. <laughs> no, this, I legit. I don't know how you, I don't know why, I don't know why, why I'm in it. <laughs> no, but. <laughs> what you saying, from me for? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I literally. Because if I, I get some well. residual smoke from Crep, I didn't say this. <laughs> no, but it's, um, yeah. You're saying it's a fact, is he? It's a fact. Yeah. Okay. But. Well, me locking my hair has been a very good decision. Yeah, so I will say Shout out to yeah. you, man. Yeah, man, yeah. yeah. go for yeah. that. Yeah. Um, I did not know H had an hour's worth of music. I was so surprised that mm, he's given so hip hop racism over there. No, no, no. I just was unaware. Oh, okay. Baby. It's got a couple of were you were you pleasantly surprised at what you saw or heard whilst watching his performance? Or um, yes, I didn't know that he had an hour's worth of music. Okay. Did you watch and I was off of music? No. Okay, okay. She just saw the time marker and was like, oh. No, but I literally, you know when like, it's playing a little bit and I was like, oh, I wonder like, okay, ooh, like how much longer is left? And I saw like, oh, 57 minutes, I said, that's enough. Craziness. I didn't, was there anything, anything else on there that you, because I didn't watch, actually nice cab, I did see a clip of Barrington Levy and it looked like the crowd was very, very receptive to him and I don't think that was dope mm. and he had some people in the front with the Jamaica flags and obviously Windrush yeah, yeah. Some celebration and Do stuff. Do you know so. which one I saw that absolutely broke my heart? Lewis Capaldi. Yeah. Oh wow. I saw a little clip where he he, um, he, he lost his no. voice or something. So he suffers from Tourette's. or he lives with Tourette's. Yeah. So at some point it was like he physically could not like he was ticking really hard and he could not physic physically sing. Yeah. And the um the crowd were just really carrying him through and you can see the frustration and the sadness in his face. Like yeah. I just I just want to sing, but he yeah. was incapable. And the crowd, like, singing at the top of their lungs. And one thing I really, really, really respected is that um, the camera crew, they weren't focusing on him on the yeah. stage. They were focusing on the crowd, and, like, there were some people crying. And I thought that was so beautiful to see, like, someone who is living with a disability, who is being their most vulnerable. Yeah. And you can actually see the joy that this person is still bringing to the mass. It was a beautiful moment for me. It was really Start, sweet. Man. He apologised today about it, actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was just like, I'm sorry that I gave you guys a shit performance, basically. But everyone was like, do not need to apologise. And he just thanked all his fans for... But does he always have good PR? Is he a nice person, a good person? Where, like... So far from what we see from Lewis, he's, like, yeah. the most likable person ever. Just so unproblematic. Yeah. I remember yeah. having a chat about Summer Walker and, like, they all, there is a line at a certain point where, like, the sympathy would dry up a little bit where, like... We want what we paid for in it, and it's difficult. It's not nice to say, but oh, in your in the UK, yeah, he he's got the complexion for protection. What? What, what a crazy seventeen seconds! What the hell? He's not. He's not over. He's not. He's, he's not. Yo, he okay, Chrissy. If also I say what propelled Adele, if, if as I, well as the talent, obviously. Oh, Sorry. oh, oh! When I was when I was fighting my corner for I've heard better singers in the church, and these lot were arguing me down and that. Look, look how we've come full circle, but we'll come back to Adele another time, man. I remember I was having an argument about it. Yeah, part of Adele's appeal is certain things and these lot was arguing me and that. Look, see life. What, that we've good. heard better singers? Yes, yeah. that's still a fact. She's still great though, but we just had better Yeah, singers. obviously. Yeah. No, I was arguing that and they were arguing me like I'm mad. You arguing? Wow. And they were thinking, you would have thunk it. <laughs> Shock. Yeah. No, but no. I'm with you. Like, a, if, you, if you're a nice person, there's nice tax, isn't it? Yeah. You know, he seems super likable. Mm. Yeah. Obviously, he's got uh, he's got Tourette's as well. So it's like there's other people that are like, oh, you live with disability mm. that I have as well. It's like, oh, that's really more relatability and yeah. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Didn't the Donny that um, one big brother have Tourette's? Oh, am I bugging? Yeah, and you're not Donny. bugging. Donny. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. I'm not sure who that is. Yeah, the, the one, it was a little cute couple with the small it's girl, the blonde. It's not hair. Huh? What's that? It's not really your age. 
Okay. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's not, not really, not really, not really a demo. <laughs> you're, you're, more, you're more like a high school musical, Zach and Cody. That's more your, more your era. More if you don't. Zach Efron and them, man. <laughs> don't nope. cap like you wasn't watching Zach and Cody and high school musical. Don't. Like, don't I still watching Big Brother, but that, I just don't know what year it was. Don't Remember cap. when um, Zach Efron posted like um, a video of him at a uh, premiere with like, I don't know, K Trap in the back, in the background. What? No, it was Digger D. He was, he was um, his press tour. We did a compilation video, yeah. Okay. And it was, I think it was Boy that he was playing, Zach like, Efron, yeah, yeah. Like Zachariah Efron. Like everyone was like, huh? As in, yeah, like wait, what? everyone reposted it. Like, Mason Madness were like, we thought it was a fake edit, but it was actually straight it's from him. his page. That's cold, man. He <laughs> really like the song. So Who's that song. man, man? <laughs> yeah, jump yeah, out for man. man. Seeing Zac Efron coming out of the the the, the, the car in slow motion and now <laughs> straight <laughs> on the red carpet. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious, man. Oh my days! But I don't know. I would love to do Glaston because I see um. Everyone I was at, did it this year. I was at the Scissor yeah. show on on Sunday. I see Richie Brave. He said he just he just come back from there. But I know I wouldn't commit to the. The full camping experience. You don't I'll have do the to. fake. I've heard, yeah, you don't you have to. to. Buff. But I heard the people that have done the people that I know that have done the camping experience is it's horrid. Yeah, man, I can't live like that. I'm sorry, man. You gotta be bougie, like get a VIP. Get yeah, get a stuff. glamping. Sorry, like, get your glamp on. Like, it's not something you should do. Like, if you've never camped before, you don't go and rough it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, in for a shot. Bear back in Glasgow. Yeah, you're not bear grills, in it. Nah, long. <laughs> bear back yeah. in Glasgow is insane. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Mad. Chill out. No experience. There, chill out. Chill out. Yeah. Yeah. I've yeah. been to Glastonbury before, like, though. Oh, you've been, you've been like, Glastonbury. Not the festival, like the the place. Be be fucking for real. Great story. <laughs> what the fuck does that go to do? What we're talking about <laughs> right saying. now, bro. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay, what were you doing on there? What's going on there? You're just visiting. See the sights. I I was at a farm. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for thanks for that, man. Any more to this story? Yeah, I'm surprised we even got this much happening. Milk some cows. Okay. All right. You're actually a deviant. For milking why cows? You, no, but why are you nodding like that? I stayed at... <laughs> Wait, you, need, I, you need to get your mind out of the gut. I lie. What's yeah, going on? <laughs> Don't flip this on me. Don't you want a man that's self-sufficient because if the apocalypse happens now, you've got to go back to our... Get that milk. Yeah. You so know. you lot can't build houses, but you're milking cows. Wow. We need to eat. <laughs> you're going to go hungry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Cause you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna go out there and build houses cow. during an apocalypse. Yeah, but you're milking a cow. Substance. Yeah, that's, that's quicker than building a house. No, it's giving lack of priorities. Anyway, you're what's hungry. Next? You need food. What if I'm vegan? Don't try and like bish your way out of this. No, bro. you're Don't milking a cow. Okay, bish great. your way out of this. Really yeah. yeah, during the apoc- <laughs> apocalypse, yeah, like being a vegan, like it, it could be easy. No, it's but not. it would be easy. You're gonna no. suffer. Because what are you guys gonna rely on? Meat, innit? Meat. Okay. Meat and veg. And veg. No, because we rely on veg. You guys will the only difference is is the meat aspect. That expires. Yeah. Like you can't do things like you can't breed animals anymore. Like you're eventually gonna become vegan because the only thing that can work by itself is veg. And you, you knew that. But you guys knew that. Yeah. Like Yeah, but I don't mind a salad. Yeah, of course not. I love it. But a chicken what salad, isn't it? On the same side, no, though. But yeah, I can. Oh, yeah, yeah. You like in a start. Yeah, because by the time like they've looted all the supermarkets, like everything's gone. No one has like real hunting skills like that as yeah. well. Like you need Just, which even I find to catch it, fish. Find it hilarious that she's honest about like listen, let us baby steps in it. We, we can milk the cows. We can face these animals. I go out and kill the goat. You know, I'm ready, man. I'm ready to look after me and my yeah, family. Nah, yeah, nah. <laughs> this was back in the day when Youth Club had funding and that. I went and um, stayed on the farm for a week. Sorry, I, thought, nice. I thought I was a dig at Youth Clubs. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Fans are hilarious, man. Just took us somewhere else. Like, just like, yeah. I've been Glastonbury, but not but not the not the festival. You know? I'll do the festival one day, man. Like yeah, we'll it's always it, kind of been a, a thing to do. I think it's something to tick off the list, isn't it? Yeah. After doing like countless wirelesses and love boxes and park life. Did you just catch the fly? No, but can we talk about mosquitoes? I got my first ever mosquito bite. Recently. When? Like what? I feel like they've been mashing me up recently. When you go abroad though, like when you go back home and stuff, like do they not attack you? Mm, I'm know, quite fortunate. I've never really had that. Like when I've ever gone on holiday, like gone home or gone. They eat me up, boy. Yeah. Like I saw. Maybe it's the ex They're like, ah, we don't need that. Follow, <laughs> follow. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> they're Why? like, mm, yeah, nah, not this skin. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what it is? The hydrocortisone is a barrier, isn't it? They get there, they're oh like, the double base gel and They're that. like, oh, E45, maybe not. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I guess eczema comes with its benefits. Hey, there's perks, man. Oh there's, my there's always gosh. pros and cons, isn't it? Mm. Can yeah. you... Can you not? A bit of self-deprecation never hurt anyone, it? So They've really been um, like flogging me recently. Okay, fight back. Me, that common pollen's taking me out. And you expect me to fight back over mosquitoes. Are you Are going to get the injection? No, the because I've, <laughs> I've been taking it Olivia and it's wow. Okay. Shout out to them. So it's not a leave? No, I was wrong. Right. Oh, oh you was wrong? Yeah. Okay, can we get some horns behind that, please? <laughs> oh, now you can find the horns. <laughs> so now you can find the horns. Now we can find the horns. That's crazy. But well, my horns was in post-production. The flow kissy. You found the horns in the <laughs> uh, man, man had the horns on the deck, you know. Uh, <laughs> so like, <laughs> like, you're actually open mouth cackling. Sorry, that's true. Like, funny, can that's I true not happiness, you know. True happiness. Black right boy Joe, now this is what you don't want. Oh, oh, oh. When, when we're running through, through the field of daffodils, yeah, no, this is a black boy Joe right here, man. <laughs> Bang out. <laughs> <laughs> You're a prick. <laughs> so I can't even self correct anymore. This is why it pays to be wicked. No, shout out, shout out to the accountant over there, Chrissy. Mm. We appreciate the accountability. You said you're wrong. We'll make a big deal out of it. But those, those horns were necessary. <laughs> they were Leave, necessary. Leave, if yeah. you don't put. The, this is horns in. I'll put her, I'll put her horns in. Yeah. Okay, great. No, no, just um, when you come on, on the seventh, buy the bar, man. Yeah. I think she'll appreciate that more. I will. Put some money behind the bar, man. No, could you? Man's under pressure. He's no. under pressure right now. No, no, not behind. But can you put money on the door instead because I get that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If I'm there. It will be because you need to put money behind the door. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> Man's under pressure. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I still got the bis bucks. Yeah, you bring them. Yeah. Can I pay with that? No. No. Conversion so, rate's crazy over here. Uh, yeah, I hear it. Okay. I want to take you somewhere else. A, um, a conversation for the the cufflinks. Yeah. Um, what do you guys feel about like PR relationships? And I bring this up because um, right now we're in the middle of this uh, Jonathan Majors case. He's, um, I think, trial's going to start soon. Um, and on the first court date, you see our good sis. Maybe not our good sis at the moment. Megan Good. She accompanied sure, him. Be my good sis. Yeah, she accompanied him to the trial to the court date. And um, people are perplexed as to, with the accusation mm. on him, as to why she would be over there. Um, she knew the truth. Maybe that's it. That's all now, you know. Mm. I want to set the, set the scene here and we can have a little ch- conversation. Do you think this relationship is for PR? Uh, 120%. I... <laughs> you literally just, like, you just ended things with your ex because of what happened. So it's very convenient that now you've got... And then your ex was obviously someone that wasn't... Um, was a celebrity. Wasn't, Allegedly, wasn't, wasn't melanated. Oh, was right, a white right, woman. Right, now right, you right, found right. this popular black woman. There might not even be the case. Hey, they might even like each other and be happy together. But I think why you'd want to publicly date an alleged abuser at this time yeah, yeah. is crazy at, to me. At the time, it's insane. Like, especially where... You're not the go-to person for roles at the moment. Who like, making good? Yeah, so like doing this did seem like a pretty strange move to do. Um, so obviously it begs the question, like, what are you doing with this man? Like, what is the, like, how genuine is is this relationship? And there was always speculation on his name. Does he even like black women like that? But so does that all then of a sudden he pops up with, with one. It's too convenient. Because it, it's very convenient, but because it's so left field and which doesn't make sense, does, should that, should that then not, Make people lean more to maybe it, it is genuine because why of in terms of PR, this is bad PR essentially. It's gonna affect you. Like you're standing this close to someone that has got this mad accusation. He's like he's getting the Marvel checks. He's like, how, how much is Harlem paying me? Like, <laughs> I, I can cover that. Yeah, I can. Put, yeah, just I need put, someone put to another ten on that. Yeah, yeah fling put, another ten. On that. Fling another ten on that. Yeah. Okay, so I see that angle, but then what about the theory that? He was actually maybe already dealing with her. Like she's she's been around, been known. You could have been do- doing the woman thing, like where they've tapped out of the relationship six months prior. Why? Yeah. Why are we in it now? Hey, you lot always in it. Right. Always in it. Shout out to the cufflinks. Yeah. <laughs> no, honestly, I think it's it's a mess over there, and I think the PR relationship is working because I saw some tweets. It was like, that's what I'm saying. They're trying to drag a black man down. Blah blah blah. But I think I what, think from her. No, no, from no. other people. I so do if think it is a PR relationship, that, it's working. Some right. of that is we have to add the extra context is because um 
a news article came out from I think it might have been the, the Times. Just bear with me, so I can so just so journalistic integrity. Thank you. So I have my well. facts. Uh, this is the Insider dot com. Um, lawyers for Jonathan Majors blames NYPD racism for his domestic violence case, and through this article, the story they lay out does make it seem very plausible that this thing didn't happen because they're saying they've got eyewitness accounts, CCTV footage, um, and the way he was dealt with when they went to arrest him, that, you know, um, doubts whether that was even his house, saying, you know, he did put hands on you. So, of course, I've, I think I've learned personally, and I think some people are learning, like, you know, we have to let some things play out in it. But you do live in an age of speculation, and off the back of that article, and some TikToks, of course, still go wait for evidence. People are now starting to go, mm, the stories are coming out, it doesn't look like what it was beforehand, mm. you know? So no bruising, none of these things happen, but then you go to, allegedly, go to a nightclub with a few people that you met and all the injuries you sustained, you were in the nightclub doing things that you wouldn't have been able to do if you had those injuries. So did you get those injuries after the nightclub or before with this incident, allegedly, with Jonathan Major in it? So I'll, I'll even put the article in the description. You can read it yourself. And you can make your own minds out. Of course, you just got to wait to let this thing play out. But Do you know, I think, I think it's, it's I wrote not him just off from the text that were leaked or that his team put out. Now, I find since the Tory trial, I think people trying to do the whole like um, the court of public opinion and being like, listen, like suddenly it's like a race thing. Like, don't get me wrong, you guys were all black men originally, but you would never lead him with that. And then the minute something happens to you, it's like, see, black men this, black men that, and it's like, <sighs> I beg, like. Like let, like let us live Like you've done something crazy And heinous allegedly. But now you keep ten, Yeah of course allegedly yeah. But now you keep reminding us That you're black And now we have to be on your side I'd rather just defend Other black men That are going through Crazy ass shit That they have no control over Like yeah. Just don't put your hands I on think women we, I think we've got to be We've got to be very I think I think we should be very honest With our biases And lean into them And don't be ashamed of them And just say There is a certain section That go That's what you get For being a white woman and be straight with it. Don't pretend. Don't hide from it. I don't like you. I don't don't act like you're above it. it. That that is a real thing as well because there are some men, unfortunately, in America, and women as well that have dealt with that. When you are dating someone outside your race, you get written off a little bit, or you don't get the benefit of doubt with certain things in it. So I think that is also very plausible. Whether it applies to this particular scenario mm. is the issue. But everyone has their bias, so they sit in their corner and go, "Okay, cool." They got confirmation bias. Okay, this happened. That happened. How did the police handle it? A lot of people can attest to being dealt with as a suspect when they potentially were a victim. Yeah. The thing is, I, I hear what you're saying, but again, like, if you're going to date out your race, do what you want. That's like, honestly, yeah. me personally, me speaking as Basola, I genuinely do not care yeah. as long as your views are just sensible and you're dating because yeah. you like person and not because you hate yourself. Yeah. But it's the fact that when you're dating these white people, yeah. suddenly... You don't see colour at all, but the minute something happens to you, yeah, <laughs> you're colour blind. But the minute something happens to you, it's like, I told you guys they hate black people. It's of like, course, yeah. Ugh. It's like when ASAP Rocky got arrested, yeah? Yeah. Was it a year beforehand? He said, I'm not black, I'm rich, I'm, I'm living in like, I'm living in Soho, I'm living in Beverly Hills. Yeah, we drippy, like, we litty. Yeah, he was like, like, we're out here. And then suddenly it's like, no, look, they're getting a black man down. It's like, just tell them that you're rich because that worked before, didn't it? Like, people I did, were saying I, that. You know it is? It's did, a bit frustrating because it's actually like, like it. I did actually like reading that and seeing that on the page him saying that there's a bit more to that that quote as well because there are a lot of black people that they get in certain spaces mm -hmm. and they believe their race is transcendent because the, that their money transcends race like they're fine now, innit? And mm -hmm. also as well, I do... You work in media a little bit, so you can tell when there's a bit of a hit piece or like someone's got an easy mark. If I get someone in here that's a bit of a clout chase or not that wise, I can talk circles around them and that. I might get some moments out of it. You know the dumb niggas, bro. And you're going to ask them certain questions. Rocky's and they're going not to trick that them. dumb. No, no. It, the, the response is very stupid, but it generally might be how he feels. And, but also, we need to know who some of these people are. Yeah, fair enough. Like, no, let's actually know your, your views politically. That's why, like, what's the rules, Chrissy, about, like, dinner parties, certain conversations or topics you don't yeah. look up? Is it um, politics? Politic. Is it race, religion? And some other stuff. Yeah. Bring them all up, man. Yeah. So we can know where you stand and who you truly are. Yeah. Once you ask the right questions, you start getting some 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 decent opinions and some really weird ones, isn't it? So, yeah. like, yeah, man. So what is that? Date who you want, but what a don't make everything... Don't make everything about... No, I want us to cap that about that whole date who you want from. We don't want date... Like, let's really lean into it. No, I'm speaking for myself. I said yeah. this. Speaking for me. I feel like, like there's a lot of cap out there. Date who you want, 
Yeah, honestly, as long as you're dating them because you like them, yeah. you're dating them because if I ask you why you're dating your person and you turn around and say black women are this and that, yeah. that's going to piss of me course, off because of course. that wasn't the question. Yeah. But yeah. if you're dating the person, like, I fell in love with this person. Ah, who am I, I think we shouldn't be ashamed love? to say that we want to see love with them. each other with each other because this is my perspective. A lot of that I saw online with the rise of old tweets coming out mm. um, where black men were denigrating black women and uh, a lot of the initial response would be, oh, it's just the, the dead things like piping up. So if, if you're buffing up, you want to have this issue. And the response started being, it's not that we care about who you're dating. Mm. We just don't want you to denigrate us. But I know in our circles and our spaces, you walk in with someone of a lighter hue or the wrong complexion, you might get a look. And I'm not mad at that look. Why? Because we want to see each other mm. with each other. Some of these things are just responses to deal with the current scenario so that someone can't have that thing over you to arm, arm themselves with our... Oh, it's the dead things or no, no, no. It's, I don't care about who you, I, don't, I just want you to denigrate black women, which you definitely shouldn't. Mm. But no, you, that's why do you think when, you know, certain people are with certain people, they get an, an uplift. If your lady's black, look how the ladies love Bukayo Saka because his, his baby's a black babe. <laughs> yeah. And he looks like their little brother as well. Yeah. But that also, it's also extra points. And also she's like, she's your brother. That, that yeah. leans into it. It's like, she's Nige. Yeah. I swear down. Yeah. Shout out to him. Yeah. So, you come out there, you're doing black love. Well, like LeBron in them, um, Savannah. But he has yes Jules allegations allegedly in it, so. Oh. Don't and Selena. That. Don't do Selena that to Powell Savannah. S- who? Savannah James. Selena Powell. No, no, so LeBron James did not sleep with Selena Powell. No, she. That's the baby. I thing. don't think you get it. She, oh, yeah. From I was I was off the pod, make, yeah. yeah. When that whole thing came out, yeah. Who's Selena Powell? From Thoughts Next Door podcast. That's an a crazy name Wait. for a podcast. <laughs> yeah, she, Thoughts, Why are the Thoughts Next Door? Because it was her and some <laughs> other girl. I keep forgetting other Do you remember name. the babe I was talking about? I know. Slept yeah. with Snoop Dogg. Yeah. She was just busting all the No, business. she didn't sleep with Snoop Dogg. That's all alleged. Selena she did Powell. not sleep no, with Snoop Lion. Snoop Dogg went she on a track to apologise for sleeping with her. Me and Snoop Dogg. Fuck, fuck the, the same hoes. <laughs> 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 sorry, sorry. Kidding, kidding. Pod sorry, kidding. Pod AI. Pod yeah, but she... That's like, a KI. Adam22 had to take the pod down after two episodes because he got like, what? Three or four? Um... Or lawsuits. Yeah. Bro, have you not... <laughs> like Odell Beckham. No, Odell Beckham was going to literally... You think, you think LeBron around. James' people aren't playing... You think they're playing the game? No, it was Odell Beckham that was that. Because she said Odell yeah, Beckham um, <laughs> pissed on her. Yeah. And like... Yeah, she was saying some insane things. Yeah. And then Adam Tony too, like when... I think he got hit with like two, two or three from one These person. These are high-powerful people. They can rub you out, so... Yeah, yeah. No, but yeah. within seconds. Like it wasn't yeah. even a joke. And it was also big um, companies as well. So yeah. like subsidiaries of the NBA were like, take this down. This isn't a joke. Yeah. And his apology was like, oh, I didn't want to have a platform where there was two white women attacking these young black men. And everyone was like, shut up because you loved it when it was getting your views. But mm. of course, he had him on he had him on the pod like three or four times, and then gave them their own show. And then they had Chief Keith's baby mum on there as well. What kind of pod is this? Oh, it was insane. This was during lockdown. I had time for it. Lockdown. Right? I was, don't remember when um <laughs> when when my man was arguing with um um Vic Santora on Instagram Live. I was referencing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And so me and my friend them have more guns than you and your friend them. Yeah, he was, <laughs> was legally like, blind to that one. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is this is on Instagram Live. Yeah. Scary. <laughs> Instagram, Instagram was a crazy. Yeah, lockdown place. Instagram was insane. But Swarms became. Don't make me roll true with a belly. It was, it was yeah. a nice time period. Great so, time. Great um, time. So yeah, where were we with the? Um, so I hear you with the Jonathan Majors thing. Um, I think we just have to let it play out. Everyone, a lot of people already have their minds made up, which is which is what it is. Yeah, I think obviously when the trial actually starts and stuff, and you know, we'll we'll see a lot more traction with the verdict. Yeah, we'll get we'll we'll get some certain reporters that will make a name for themselves with the real. Because I think like even with this new evidence that's been updated and stuff, like there's or they claim that's the evidence they have in it. Yeah, or they claim that the evidence is what they have is like there's still people that are in belief or against him like they're not in his favour at the moment of course but the thing is yeah I think if he was someone that everyone liked beforehand yeah he people liked him for a short time because before he was known for being horrible so like there was this this group of people in like the theatre scene in America and they were like there's this guy that's getting tons of love at the minute and you guys will soon realise that he's a shit human but we being. Only, we only saw those things after when that that's thing what happened I'm saying. So. so like now that everyone was like 
I'm so glad you guys finally realized he's an asshole. I didn't see this um, when the Harder They Fall came out with yeah, all yeah, black cast. Yeah, 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 as yeah, soon yeah. as he started getting these Marvel checks, all of a sudden he's a horrible human. No, no, being. he's been horrible for ages. That's what they they know. They've been tweeting it for time. I, I'm not. But the this came is not out me. After they came out <laughs> I'm after. Just saying. Anyway. saying, get this camera off me. <laughs> no, because I was I'm just trying I was to be objective. I loved Jonathan Majors at that time. Like I was all for it. You're on this civil rights looking kind of vibe. Anyways, I think I think he was super cool then. Allegations hit and yeah, I'm what was cool about I, I him? I think you're guilty until what was cool him. about him. He is a very handsome young man, and of course, like like they say, I like to uplift black men, right? Because he's black now, so is he black now? Black now. <laughs> man, get a scandal, man, and a black girl—that's mm-hmm. hilarious. Like, he did have good PR that. because obviously, um, there was a talking point about how, whether he's good looking or not, and then like he had the. What was the was it Vanity Fair where he was wearing the pink? Oh, uh, and, and, yeah. and they keep reverting back to yeah. stuff. So yeah, they keep reverting back to when he was like skinny and stuff. And then obviously they're doing like uh, the whole before and now, like oh, uh, you not only love him because he's hench. But that would add, that would add some flavor to you if you were in good shape. No, he's in super shape. It's not even Bro, good I tr- shape. I tr- I tr- listen, I know he's semi cancer right now. I still do the workout from time to time. Well, the Jonathan Majors yeah, workout, like the shoulders, <laughs> back, he was super <laughs> set. Bro, it's crazy, bro. Bro, he's the gym swollen. Yeah, God. it's long. Yeah, it is what it is, though, man. So, yeah. you, so you, what side of the fence you guys set? And you think this relationship with Megan Good is a PR one? <sighs> if it's not PR, it's too convenient. It's just too convenient. And are there anyone's over history you think are PR? I want to do it quickly before. I, Anything that comes to mind, Chris? You know what? I just want to say that, like, obviously, I can't say whether it's genuine or not. It is bizarre, like, that I think the timing is off. Yeah. This is where a lot of eyebrows are raised. However, if you're speaking to me and how I feel about Megan Good, whenever she's available, that's great enough time for me. <sighs> Reason to focus on the point now. Huh? I say that to say this. God's time is the best. <laughs> I, d- <laughs> Listen, the man said, "Right, what? She's a, she's a, she's free now." But if I'm me, not if I'm Jonathan Majors, oh, yeah, I don't because being, obviously yeah, yeah. everyone was like, "Oh yeah, you know, he's not even to black women like that." I don't know how people know that. Do you know what I mean? He could just be a person that dates who he likes, regardless of race. Apparently, his dating history was just. Lands, I can't lie to you. Too. If if that's your dating history, then fair enough. Off the record, on the record, certain babes ask you, what's your white body count? And if you can't answer that, like, quickly, fast. <laughs> oh, no, I was in a room Wait, one time. what? Yeah. I was in a room one time, just full of, just black yeah. people in general, yeah. One babe asked everyone, what was your white body count? With speed. And there was one guy that was stuttering. And then he said, I don't think that's an appropriate question to ask everyone. And we immediately knew that he only seats with white women. Because only. why would he? No, because everyone else was like, yeah, two or three, like, People definitely lying, don't get me wrong, but yeah. the fact that you couldn't even lie, that means you feel you feel shame. Why do you feel shame? Delve deeper to that thing, innit? Why do you feel shame? Yeah. If, also, if it's for the right reasons, you wouldn't feel shame. Fair enough. Mm. Mm. I told you she was wise. I love it here. Yeah. Thank you. Chris is just like, yeah, I don't have to even, I don't even yeah, have to pod. I love it. Bring every yeah, week. <laughs> I agree with everything they said. Yeah, so before you got any any relations over the years that you think might have been PR? Think about celeb relationships, music, entertainment. I actually don't know right now. I can't think. So, if you guys could enter a PR relationship, who would it be with? Better question. There you go, Biz. Mm. Like, who do you think would boost you by like fifty points? Uh, is that what we're talking about? By like standing, ne- by like you standing to next to them. It needs to be a good PR relationship. Like you need to benefit. Oh, PR. Sorry. What? What dep- do you think I was asking it dep- you? <laughs> she, was in a, she was in a HR bag, man. <laughs> it, de- it depends Sorry. on like what kind of realm I want to be in. Maybe a Diddy. Okay. What, what, up, uplift, up, up, what uplift do you think you'll get? Court Everything will be introducing you to all the right people. Or well, maybe like a little Jay-Z. But you just like... Okay, you you, like you just dropped mad steps. You went from, yeah, I'm dating Diddy now. I'm in the rooms with Jay-Z. <laughs> No, but you said like for PR and upliftment. Like, yeah. if you're saying it's solely for the purpose of advancing myself, my career, mm. it's not going to be like. Uh, listen, if you know I mean, a good I'm, PR relationship, it needs to benefit, almost benefit them a tiny bit as well. Like, it needs to be like when you guys eventually break up, you're not Diddy's ex. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Okay. 
I don't think you might not like it. Um, Carisha won't mind being Diddy's ex. A podcast that might have had like colorism accusations back in the day. Because you're, you're, you're a podcaster, you're a dark skinned black woman, what? you're opinionated, you can clean him up and that, you can benefit. Yeah, he would benefit from that. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the perfect. But what do I benefit? Are um, you in the, we're in the season of giving, Chrissy, man. You've got, <laughs> you, you've got to give some. You, you forgave. Yeah. And he's got connections, maybe. You'll be like that pastor's. Um, do you want to get signed to Spotify ex-wife. or not? Stop it. <laughs> what pastor's ex wife? Oh, oh, what's that, what's that guy's name? Salvation. Um, Derek oh, Derek Jackson. Jackson. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, man. No, don't, don't do that to Chris. <laughs> right? Friends, who would you But date? she has bail against. Fair enough. Um, I don't know. But if I was to. Nigga, let's say land, be, bro. <laughs> if I was to, let's say, be in a ratchet world. Right, eyes are closed and it's so funny. If I was to be in a ratchet world, yeah, it would be either. Summer Walker or Cardi B? I think you could benefit yeah. from a Cardi B. Cardi she get you a bit more lit on the gram and that. You'd be out Cardi B's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so funny. I like how she handled the whole cheating rumours with her. She's so much me. Oh, we but did, that, okay. was, did she actually post that though? I know, if, I know for this, we don't want you, you don't want to get in the way of a good story. Doesn't matter. Because I will go and check and, and if it's not there, it's obvious. No, it's not there, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. What, in the spaces? No, so um, there was this screenshot of Offset on like his Instagram story saying, she slept with someone basically like yeah, he's betting. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously the internet's run of it like, yeah, she finally got a lick back after the allegations when he cheated back in the day. Um, and then she obviously entertained it and was like humorous of it and stuff. And then those kind of posts come out where like, he, when he had been cheating, he posts like, I miss my granny. You know, like, yeah. when niggas cheat suddenly, they're suicidal yeah, yeah. and like. like <laughs> 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 I've seen this film before. I know this trick. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, familiar yeah, with your yeah, game. Yeah, yeah. I'm depressed. He wasn't yeah. depressed when he was knacking. I miss my granny, yeah. is what he said. Yeah. And he was he like sitting on, on top of the yeah. wall. <laughs> yeah, Cardi's one was good. I hope it's real. Doesn't matter if it's not. It's funny. Mm. Nah, that's just. I think yeah, Cardi, Cardi be a good shot. You'd, you'd, you'd get little Cardi. Cardi? Yeah. You wanna do wanna do Remy Ma? No. She's not, she's not How can good, you cheat on Papoose? She ain't got good PR right now. Someone that kept his hat on his head for eight years straight. Oh, she cheating on a Papoose? That's the story in the battle right I don't know if that's true, but the there's URL. that. But this one's not allegedly, no? Yeah, do you know I don't know. Mean? Foles can tell you about this. Is the battle rap? I, lit- world. I, I literally <laughs> said alleged. That he's battle rap don done over yeah. there. Easy the block rapper. captain is a is a battle rapper. Remy's got her own battle rap league called Chrome 23. Easy the block captain. See, this is why I hate. I can't stand battle rappers. What kind of name is that? Easy to block, Captain, isn't it? What? Yeah, that's his name. All one word. Bro, this, I, I don't write these <laughs> rules, yeah, bro. Like, like, really? Don't shoot the messenger, bro. He can't change don't shoot name. in general, but if you're going to shoot anybody, don't shoot the messenger, innit? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, so easy to block, Captain. Um, so how the story came out is that they said there was a fight between him and Papoose, and Papoose basically, he got the better of me, knocked him out, whatever. And the reason they're saying they had this fight was because he allegedly had dealt with Wait, Remy Papoose Mark. knocked him out? Yeah, there was like, okay, a battle cool, rap event, cool. and they got into an location, and he... He checked him and beat him up, knocked him out, whatever. Yeah, that needed to be the story. Yeah, that, that was where, that's where the, where the story started from. And they're saying the reason why that happened is because they're saying that he allegedly had dealt with um, Remy Ma. So oh. um, that would be crazy if that was the case, though. Someone I hold you to. Because that is the epitome of black love over there, Remy Ma and Papoose. That's really love of hip-hop. But this only got married with his so. feet. Yes, allegedly, but like I said, yeah. when it was funny with you guys, when... Cardi's doing, you know. We're not talking no. about us. We said to, allegedly, okay. Okay, now you guys know allegedly. Yeah, we do now. For how, long, how long we put it together? I've never heard Chris ever say allegedly ever. Because okay. when Solange was assaulting Jay-Z in the lift. Allegedly. No, that one, that, that, celebr- that, that one is confirmed. Celebrity. And you believe your eyes over what I'm telling you? You exactly. can't do You're not a misogynist, nigga. You see that when we you, do, you we actually, land it. You actually want to do that. You, you guys want to do it bad. You can't, wow. man. You, listen, you guys can't gaslight when we gaslight, man. Scary to me. He's in gaslighting wars. Yeah, because even with the whole... um. If you want to do a little gender wars thing with the whole like um, JT throwing the phone at Uzi and that, mm. I see women actually celebrating and like, yeah, that that's, no. that's not wavy, that's bro. Song. No, no that, that was actually quite disgusting. But also like people doing the whole, if the roles were reversed, made me laugh because the roles have been reversed because Uzi is like a known abuser and yeah. his, his life is fine. So, but why is she still with Don, isn't it? I don't know. We're still what looking at it sideways. Throat crazy. <sighs> that's what she said. Bro, you remember, remember, remember you're in the role of big bro. That's crazy, bro. That's what she said. Yo, bro, can you, can you stay in the role of big bro? I'm just letting you know, this is the people <laughs> that you listen to. <laughs> That's my what favorite was, episode. What was you listening to at, at 23? I was listening to ooh, Chiwali Wali. <laughs> you were listening to crazy stuff. You look at how we grew up, bro. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, so. I was going to say Sugar Babes. Oh, don't cap over round, here, man. Round, round, baby, round, round. You grew up a little kid. There's a lot of innuendos in them pop, pop musics. Yeah. 
pop music. Yeah, it's so old. Pop Chris, music. Christina show. Aguilera and Genie in a Bottle. No, yes. two become one. Man, that, that was there was no in the end, innuendos. That was we knew what she was talking Dick. about. Yeah. Wow. Okay. okay. <laughs> you're you're in, you're in a role of big sis right now. Okay. Age okay. appropriate conversations. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Can we can we um can we get something age appropriate? <laughs> How Beef old do you think I am? Old niggas in oh. rap. Pusha T and, and Jim Jones look like they're about to tussle. Uh, what do we think? His hair would look the same before and after the fight. Okay. Shout out to Pharrell okay. though. Okay, no, okay, okay. <laughs> 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 <Are you interesting? laughs> you, you're like a black men hair war thing in a minute, isn't it? No, <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Because I can, I can crap get a shot like that for no reason. Was I was so lifting you up. I and said you were dragging another black man down. I didn't drag him down. Hey, 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 hey. Just take the praise. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm not used Man to saying that with his eyes closed is killing me. Even hey. more, <laughs> My eyes are open. Okay. Sure thing, bud. Anyway, <laughs> Jim Jones has been poking at Pusha T for a while since the yeah. whole um, what was it? Viable double XL. I'm having complex top fifty complex. rappers list. Yeah. Sorry, complex. Uh, top fifty. Chris, do me a favor and check that. Please. And he did a press tour on how he thinks that Pusha T should be nowhere near that list. Yeah. Of course, with what you're saying, yeah, it matters, like, in how you're saying it. You're saying it in a condescending way. You're trying to be cheeky in it. Like, even he wasn't though, trying to, he was being cheeky. No, but even though he says that, like, yeah, you're a cool rapper and stuff, like, he tries to do that to try and make it seem like it's not as bad as what you're saying. But what you're saying is that... No one listens to you, bro. So no one's listening to you. He wants to dress like Pusha T. That's like those he, are he, his. Did metrics. he even really sell coke like that? Yeah, like yeah. Uh, no one plays you in a club. Like he was rubbing him out. He wasn't just like, yeah, I'm better than my man. He but was these him are out. Jim Jones's metrics. Yeah, which is not everyone else's metrics. Absolutely not. No. And when we're talking about rap, you're in the line of combat against the other rapper in it. So Pusha T is not just gonna sit there and not say something you're gonna get shots in some way but the rollout is that you're friends with pharrell long time collaborators you've been friends from virginia since Wade. pharrell's at the helm at louis vuitton yeah all these niggas in paris and they're walking the runway and the song plays and it's clips again push it to your malice bro there's so many like important like things within that song and how it was presented in Paris it was Virgi- it was a, it was a one up on virginia in it and you're going to give jim some shots in that i think that whole thing is a little bit overstated about how wavy it was that they premiered it at a fashion show what was the word were the bars in there called yes it's a light jab you know i think it's wavy because it's something else from like it's yeah. it's a new medium yeah I hear it. I just, do you know what I mean? Like, and if you had the opportunity to do it, you would. You would. Jim Jones would, and mm. that's another um, sort of chink, like with what these men are arguing about. Because what are you really arguing about at this point? Is I don't think it's even argument. I think pushes are just like you can't say what you. The way you spoke about me has to. It has. There has to be some disdain there for you to just jump. If what looked like to us, you're jumping out the window. It came from nowhere. We don't know you to have any issues, any beef, whatever. Yeah. People started looking at it. Obviously, you start doing your hip-hop journalism. You're like, well, okay, there's an affiliation with Jules Jew- Santana and Little Wayne from back in the day. There's obviously, um, Drake came out of the show in Harlem with Dipset. He wore the, the pink um, fur jacket for Cam. Everyone, the, the angle was that Jim Jones is pushing for a Drake feature. Yeah. This is why he's going so hard against Pusha T. Yeah. And, what- and it's plausible. I was like, you can't be doing this much with like... Mm. The there future. has to be there has to something has to in my opinion it had to have happened for you to kind of just jump out the window because they asked you a question and then you just went off on one on on him as well like like there's there's a lot of people where that were within that top 50 where he probably felt that shouldn't have been in that top 50 but he decided to go at Pusha T specifically so if in my metrics I'm questioning like I'm, I'm saying like oh no one dresses like Pusha no one wants to be like him and you know, you're not in the clubs like that. You're questioning my relevancy. Yeah. So if my response is like at Louis V internationally. Yeah, that's I'm with, responding to you on a fashion level. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like with But that is 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 largely off the back of who you stand next to. 
Yes, it isn't, it's still, but, it still but proves but a point though. It, it, but it also like there's a lot of men that stand next to these guys, yeah. But like they they might not be able to have the opportunity. Do you know what I'm saying? Like no, these, no, I, I hear everything you're saying in like terms of like your, building the case. I get it, but also Jim could easily very much be at Paris Fashion Show. He's been at fashion shows. He was at fashion show last year in that same region. Yeah, but and, like, do you have the same? It, there's a lot of men that are there, but do yeah. they have their music played? you know, at the right moment. But the point or, I'm making is if it's Pharrell's I mean? show and you're Pusha T, you can play your music fans. If, if if Slick Vic has a show, you can we can go on podcast there, bro. That's the point I'm making. Like your man, your dog, your guy you come up with, it's his thing. I know. So like it, it does take a little bit off that whole, I know. Um, I was giving you credence. Oh, you did a fashion show. It's your Bridgens fashion show. It can be your Bridgens fashion show, but I'm not putting every one of my Bridgens on the fashion show. But they have a different level of relationship. What I'm saying it's like, not even about that. It's about the level that Pusha T's at. For me, that is the point though, because- It's the level that you're at. That's why you're in this position. I'm not putting anyone on this thing. Like if I've got the product that can match what you're doing over there, like it makes sense. Like I'm going to put you on. Mm. I'm not going to put anyone on at this stage because it's still Pharrell's moment, but you're allowing something to be within the moment where like you've worked for for however long. Mm. It's hip hop. Everyone wants well. to be there. Of course. Kanye's been dying to be there. He was jealous of Virgil for being there. Of course. Of course. You know, so it's like, these men are just like pushers. It was a light jab. Jim responded and, you know, like it got mixed reviews. Obviously, like a lot of people are sticking on a pusher vibe. What, Jim Jones had valid lines on there, like they, they're sparring at this moment, but I know that like Push has probably got more to come. No, Push has definitely got more to come. Um, and I'm I'm on the side of that was a decent attempt for like a light jab on the first response. In my opinion, it was very good from Jim Jones. Now his um his ceiling where he can go to, I think, isn't that high. Um, but I think he's going to do a lot better, in my opinion, than people are giving him credit for. He's going he's Push is gonna win. But I don't think it's going to be the cooking that people are proclaiming it to be. For it to be that, though, I think Pusha has to go where we're predicting to go. Like, he has to do the super disrespectful things. So there's angles with Jim Jones. You was the background guy. You couldn't rap. We've got the Touched It in Miami with Chrissy Lampkin. Got the Max B. Um, what's the the other guy from uh, Far Rockaway that died before um, Ching's Drugs? Um, Stack. Stack Bundles. You've got that allegation that they wrote your stuff. Even when the disc come out, people are like, oh, he didn't write this. He couldn't. He didn't even know the words when he's performing it. So there's always those allegations. Um, it would have been better if it was a beat that he wanted to actually rap on, not the, the uh, you know, a direct response. But I think because you know, you know, sometimes when someone wants to, they want that rating of the that other people get, they're going to go and like stand where you stand. So you rapped on that beat, I'm going to rap on the same beat. Yeah. And just to prove a point. And I'm with you. I would prefer to have another beat. I think he would have got more out of him if it was another beat but I actually like what he gave because it was direct we're not sugarcoating we're not going around the corners spirit of repossession is a good line because Jim Jones house got repossessed but I'm coming to you direct it's in it there was there was a little bit more like malice lines in there Kanye lines because people struggle to go out and push it directly because he doesn't really have much um, scandal out there in it yeah so um, and the people that have kind of tried to spy him haven't been as good rappers in it so barring maybe like a little Wayne in it you know, um, so yeah, there's there's the it's always the women and it's there's the Chrissy Lampkin thing in it because there's the Max B allegations, there's the Alpo allegations back in the day, you know, so he's gonna go there, he can lean more into the house thing. There's there's some there's some angles to go at in it, so but Jim just might lean on the street thing. Cause he's gonna he's using himself as a more street than push your tea. So I'm interested to see where it goes, as long as it stays right, but I don't think it will. I can see it go left. I think it's just a case of like who really cares. Ultimately, they both do. It's clear they care. No, like as in everyone like, else. Everyone else. Is there w- enough to feed the beef? Oh no, there is. We're, we're cats for stuff like this, bro. Like, the minute it dropped, like, everyone's been all over it, bro. Like from what I've seen, anyway. Like, yo, I feel push like it's your very niche beef. I won't lie. I think it's what quite niche. I, I think what like opens, opens up from being niche. Tea. Oh yeah, because yeah, like, right, fair. Because so I think it's the last push your tea scandal, scandal esque thing we've had it was Drake. Yeah, it's like oh, I can be from Jim like, Jones. Like it's every, just, yeah, not everyone will be tuned into this one. 
Okay, so do, you, so do, do you think heads will, will care. Yeah. Pusher, that might make Pusher not be, one, maybe take him as serious, or two, be quick to respond. Pusher's still hip-hop, I think, yeah. and I think he t- still takes the craft seriously. That's why, like, he still has the capacity to to go in and spar. Like, he said it before, like, he's got, he's got material for anyone. Whether it's true or not, yeah. but, you know, like, he will... Even if he has to go back in and alter bars for certain man, then he will. He will do that. Yeah, I think Pusha loves this. Yeah, he, he reminds oh, this me is, of this is monk in that that sense. Yeah, he's, he lives with this stuff, innit? Someone said all. that Pusha raps like he's in your house, but you don't know what room he's in. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was funny when I saw that. <laughs> that was funny. So if we're, if we're calling this round one, cause I feel like they're just warming. If we're calling it round one, who do you think has got round one so far? Pusha T, but I think that's more because of a status thing. Okay. And also, I'm not a huge hip hop head in that sense. So, who do you think's got round on bands? I think it's Pusher at this point. I think just because it was a lot cleaner, um, obviously, he went first to, to actually go on, on wax to do this. Yeah. So, he had the time and the luxury to kind of like do it how he wanted and um, how he done it. And then, obviously, like, Jim Jones's response just seemed like, he, yeah, he was rapping, but like it just, he was just dumping all over the beat. Presentation wise, it's not as wavy as it being in a yeah. fashion show. I will, I will give him that in it. So, and even like just like listening to it, how he was flowing on the beat, it wasn't great, yeah. but he was saying some things. Yeah. So I'm not gonna discount it and say like you know he had you know he had a few lines where I was like, all right, cool, you know your you're not sugarcoating anything, which is the energy that you kind of had before. Like, you know, you were just waiting for Donny to do what he did for you to then just go in two days later and respond. It was so funny. I even see a clip as I was coming here of him on like FaceTime with um, Joe Budden from like 2018, 2019, mm-hmm. where he's talking down to Pusha T. So like, I don't know this, like, We'll probably find out more, maybe when the discs come out more. He might be one There's of those people that doesn't understand the Pusha T hype. There are people that like yeah. that that exist. That's fair, that's fair, yeah. So, but it feels, so like, um, in terms of like the angle of the Drake thing, it feels like there's, it's not really that there's something else there, which one, it might be that, that he just doesn't get the hype. Two, there might be some other stuff happening behind the scenes. Because mm. you just don't, in my opinion, you just sort of jump out the window like that in a space and age where like everybody knows the minute you say something, it becomes viral. Because you even said, oh, he went on a press tour. In his defense, you said that on Complex, it's a big talking point. The next time you have an interview and you sit down, it's going to come up. You well, can't conven- even avoid it. Conveniently, like, you're you're there, everywhere. Why didn't you ask me? What about this uh, hip-hop beef? Mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on this hip-hop beef? I don't care, but why didn't you ask me? Because I am traumatised <laughs> when we have music conversations and you check out. <laughs> no, because you enough. just didn't invite me in, into the conversation at all. Okay. But I thought um, Pusha's delivery was fantastic. Did you even hear the diss? I did. Okay, did you hear Jim Jones? Like matching on the on the wrong way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Jim Jones said like Timberland boots in the summer. I'm gonna stamp your ass. Wow, Timberland just... boots in the summer is nuts. <laughs> you see a man do wearing Timberlands in the summer? Can't trust them. That's a man to run away for a minute. So, yeah. yeah. But um, new music. New music. Um, Stormzy drop. Yeah, that's what I wanted to go to. I feel like we've, it keeps coming up, but it's obviously because he's back outside now on the gram. We had the release, um, Toxic Trait. Last week. Last week with Fredo. And we got Longevity Flow this week. This week. Fantastic. Um, Don is just dropping. and like We're getting a Stormzy album. It's really. I don't think we're no, getting. No, I, I don't think we're getting an album. No, we're getting a Stormzy EP. We're not. Yeah, we're not getting an album because we wouldn't. Hundred percent rap, and yeah. I feel like it's only going to be Santa Dave produced. That's not a bad shout because I feel like in terms of um, how frequent these releases have been, videos obviously on um, on the streaming platforms, this wouldn't be had when they've rolled out the albums. It's not how they've moved in it. Yeah. So I don't think it's a, it's a conventional album as such. It's just a project, whatever you're going to call it, mixtape EP. We're going to get something, and I think especially off the back of. The last album which had mixed reviews mm-hmm. i think let's get back to the essence a little bit let's let me remind them they kind of doubting me rubbed me out a little bit you got the presence of this new kid central c he's there dave cement himself you know i don't think stormzy is that threatened no, i don't central i don't c. think it's it's not like let, let me make sure i'm i'm clear with what i'm saying it's not the threatened thing but 
we are in a new day and age and a new space a little bit. Mm. And I think you can see that with somehow his music gets received at times. Where like I personally I did I did like the him and Fredo song. I can see why some people might say Fredo got him on that. Cool, I'm not mad at it, but you know that like initial like ugh, that's dead. Like mm. sometimes people you people you you're just tune out from people. People because just don't like him. Their most their most recent memory of you is the album and maybe they felt it was too singy, a little too heartbreaky music. They might have this thing where like I love the grand version of you and I just can't see anything else outside of that. Mm-hmm. Whereas us in this room, I feel like we listen to a lot of type lot of different types of music. Some people when they have that one memory of you, they just can't let that go in it. And I think sometimes he suffers from that. And also the uplift that pe- think people think gets because of like how well liked he is, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Some people just like if everybody likes you, they just have to go over there and not like you. Some people just wide like that. Mm-hmm. And then adding the whole chip thing and they feel like he didn't respond enough. So I think if you add all that together and the space we're in now where someone like a central can come through, street music is on the rise. We've had all these different artists over the last like five years. Everyone charts at this, at this point where it almost feels super normal. Mm. This thing wasn't normal before. Yeah. But this is something that people before him definitely paved the way for, but something he's also had a big helping hand in from the minute he came through. So yeah, it's sometimes you sometimes need to remind people. And I don't, I don't think it's far-fetched that like artists of that level aren't seeing or hearing some of the murmurings out there. If you hear it, you're not above it, you're a human being, it will get back to you. Mm. You need to remind people a little bit. And I think what you're saying, your prediction is right. I hope it's right anyway that we're going to get more of a rap, grime, whatever. No, just more like bars for the project. Right. I don't think he's going to say like, that. Look at the two releases. It's like Toxic Trait and Longevity Flow. And look what my man's saying on there. Like, I've been at her best part of a decade. Like, that feels to me like, yo, let me just remind you, look, like, mm. you know, and the problems I have aren't as... It's the, the Lambo Euros, like the, the, or the Rolls, sorry. The issues I have aren't the same as these other guys, innit? Like, I really did this. I really put my neck on and I really went out here and made money out of this thing, you know, from, don't even, what, the world tour? Like, we don't, we don't have, that's not a normal thing for guys over here, innit? Yeah, you know, so, for some people, they see that the, he might be bigger than the music. They feel like he's, where he's got to, sometimes the music doesn't necessarily match up. Because mm. he does a lot of other things outside of music as well. Bro, he, he just, just bought Croydon, yeah. Croydon uh, the football team of Croydon, him, Wilfred Zaha yeah. and another guy, I've forgotten his name. Yeah. Sorry, you're not as famous Danny as those Simpson, two. Danny Simpson, I think. Danny Simpson? Something like that. Something Simpson. Mm. We can, we can fact check. I know it was Zaha and him. That makes yeah. sense. But, but like, not to run, but I just think that those those <laughs> things play a part. You, am, I, <laughs> am, I, am I far off here, do you think? Or am I far off here what I'm saying in regards to like why people might be tuned out? Danny Young. Sorry, yeah. Simpson. Where did I get that from? I got the first name right. Sorry, okay, Danny cool. Young. You're just chewing the hell out those words, man. Sorry. Um... No, I do think you got a point. I do. Yeah. I still, I still think that Stormzy f- probably thinks, but I think all rappers think that that they will always be the shit. 